Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems like it. Oh, it was a pretty quick... Seems like it. Uh-oh. Pretty quick... There we go. Uh, that was a short delay. Alright, so I brought these spiders over here so that I can steal all of the fast inserters. I might have to get a cargo wagon to bring up a lot of them. Um, but for now, let's put them in here and we'll get our space manufactories. That's weird. I would have thought we're requesting a hundred of these. That only takes four. Okay, never mind. The stack inserter just hadn't caught up yet. Uh, low density structures, on the other hand, we do need to pick up. I think there's some. Whoops. Over here. Let the bots catch up in the meantime. And I think I had this chest reserved for them. That should hopefully get us through our 18 more uh, space manufactories that we want to make. We're also missing some big electric motors. I know where to find those. Let's go grab some. Oh, I also need to fix this issue where, for some reason, we've got a massive number of blank data cards on that belt. And the counter thinks that we've got a huge negative number of them. Big electric motors. That'll do. And where was I going? Up here. Um, we need quite a few of them. Eighty LDS. That is quite a bit. Can probably. Speed things up a little if I split that up. Uh, six to go. Fantastic. We're going to run out of LDS again, though. These things are really expensive. Right. Oh, and now we've run out of fast inserters again. How many more do we need? Uh, four times eight. Minus two. Uh, if I get a bunch of iron plates, then maybe... Just a stack. It's not too much trouble to make. How do I make an inserter? It's nothing but iron, right? And copper. Okay.
That should cover it. It's going to take a moment. Um, that's two. And we just need two more. After this one, that is. I'm still carrying a lot of iron. It takes a lot longer to handcraft a few inserters in space exploration. Uh, what else? Well, for starters, I can give some of these to our spiders. Is our storage actually full? That doesn't sound right. No, the bots are just overwhelmed. Okay then. What else we got here? One hypercooler. Uh... Some signals. Eight small electric motors. Not what I'm looking for. There we go. Uh, we've probably got more space manufactories than we need because I didn't realize these were here. And 30 more gun turrets. I probably shouldn't have made this a purple chest without putting some specific places for the products we're making. Well, we can just do a request a chest, I guess. Speaking of which... Let's see, space manufacturings... Um... Thermo facilities. Mechanical. Cycling. This one. Don't remember if we need a fuel refinery. We definitely need life support, uh, decontamination facilities. Biochemical, growth culture, uh, facility rather, genetics, laser, radiation, don't know if we life support is needed, but I'll bring it here anyway. It's a lot of different machines that we need here. Thermal radiator. I think that's just the tier one that we're using. Supercomputer. Astro. Don't think we're using a gravimetrics, but I'll put that in anyway. Telescope. Right, that'll probably do. Now, please carry these to their destinations. I don't think we need any pulverizers in this build, do we? Nope. Fantastic. And... What else? Whoops. Cycling facility. Biochemical. Oh, our stuff has arrived. Fantastic. Some of it anyway.
And what are we trying to build here? That's the last of those. Fantastic. Obviously going to need some more biochemical facilities. Pumps. Did, did we run out of pumps? I guess we would need a stack for 12 of these. Um, I don't remember ditching my pumps, but who knows where they could be. All right, that should be enough for now. Spiders, please head over and build some stuff. And should I just craft some pumps? I need steel. One. Small electric motor. That means copper. Let's grab some of that. That's hopefully going to be enough. Uh, we're still doing fast inserters. I think we can calm down on those for a minute. I'll grab a few more. I need to build some more rail blocks to launch cargo rockets, I think. What's this one supposed to be? Girders. Do we still not have any uh, iridium happening yet? Or is it just slow? 2.6k... Uh, we're actually, we're actually missing vulcanite blocks to make the iridium ingots. It's not what I expected to get stuck on. Um, I kind of need to bump up the priority. Wait a sec, it's down here, isn't it? I think I need to bump up the priority on these if we're going to get any Vulcanite blocks at this stage. So let's set that to 100. Uh, Vulcanite. Don't have a whole lot here, it doesn't look like. 2.5k. I think it's about time we get rid of this one. Let's find our construction spiders. Uh, if we can. I wonder where I would have left them. Construction spiders. Oh, there they are. Let's grab you. Move down here, please. Fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Needle in a haystack? Yeah, a little bit. Had to remember that I was having them build this stuff earlier. Right then. Let's remove this station. I have working space science, got my spidertrons, only made attack ones. We'll need construction army soon. Yes, indeed. It is very nice to have Spidertrons again, I have to say. Let's remove all of this. And I guess... Uh, rather than try and have the Spidertrons carry all this back... We'll set it up so that the trash train can do it. Uh, 
that one's wrong. No condition. And whitelist. Uh, no condition whitelist. There we go. Get rid of this. Add a regular train stop. Enable, disable, anything greater than zero. Trash, pick up. And it looks like our trash trains have been busy. Okay, that's normal. What about this one? I don't know what you were just up to. Oh, same thing. Okay, I should probably make some more of those trains. Uh, but it seems like they're not having any trouble reaching this station, so that should be fine. Uh, we should probably... No condition, blacklist nothing, there we go. So that'll, that'll get rid of all that stuff. And uh, I don't remember what I wanted the construction spiders to do next. I'll just send them back so that they can empty their inventory. Oh, that's right, I wanted to get some vulcanite blocks down where the iridium is, but I get I guess that can wait. Uh, we do have vulcanite core fragments coming in still, right? Maybe not. Oh, there it is. I was just about to go check on that planet. It's not as fast as it could be. That's right, I remember this only does 6 per second. We should re we really need another drill here. To do that, I would have to visit... Or at least send a rocket with drill or components. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely should have set this up with at least a couple of drills. Maybe I will bother to do that relatively soon, because it's taking too long to get vulcanite blocks. Um, what else is happening here? We need pumps. I think I handcrafted a bunch of those already. Good. How many more of these do we need? 24, if we're going to do all of them. That's quite a lot. Uh, so 24 times 4 is 96. I also need a Vulcanite planet. So many things need doing. Definitely. Have you sent a spider in a rocket? Does it automatically unload on landing? I'm not sure of the process. But I have the gantry mod set up. And that works well. I've heard they automatically deploy if you send them in a rocket. Um, obviously, if they don't, that's going to cause a little problem where I'm going to have to follow them. But yeah, without that, you need something like AAI with the, the vehicle deploy bay. I'll test it on my creative mode at some point. No worries. Um, take those back. So we're now bottlenecked on glass. And pumps, no doubt. Let's go grab some glass. Uh, let's put this iron back so we have more room.
makes sense to have a spider on each world to fix things, but I'll visit the Vulcanite world since it has a cartouche on it. Hopefully, where I'll land. Do you mean the pyramid thing? Like, uh, this thing? It's one of those words you don't hear every day. Alright, can we speed this up a bit more? A little bit. We're back to pumps being the problem. Just uh, 11 to go. One, two, three. I need some iron and copper. It's a cartouche according to the wiki. Let me see what the definition of that is real quick. A structure or figure often in the shape of an oval shield or oblong scroll. Oval or oblong. Oh, that's the circle things on the ground, right? I think the log thing mentioned them. Uh, if I can remember where to find it. Exploration journal. Cartouches on the ground. Yeah. Alright. A couple more of these. And... Eight to go. That's... 32 pumps left. I think it now tells you where to look. Uh, yeah, the... There's a bunch of planets that it knows that we've got mysterious structures on now. Mariel's probably the only one I've visited that has one. Seems right. That's cool. Yeah, I think so. Uh, that's right, I should be giving the spiders some more orders. Also, we should be putting some scaffolding here. That'll keep him busy for a moment. Oops, go here. Six to go. Um, that's right, I remember what I wanted the construction spiders for. Uh, I think I sent them back to base. They're having this problem again. That's very irritating. Okay. I'll just use them as they are for now. Uh, so, we need some more rocket launching blocks. Um, I think we'll just start down here. And I'll probably have to add some things to their request slots to get it fully done. Oh, if I'm going to copy-paste that, I should be careful about... Um, I don't think I made a blueprint for this yet. I need to be careful about the copied train station settings. 
By the way, I found this build needed a lot more bio sludge, so I sent up trees and fish rockets. Rockets full of trees and fish just to boost that. Wow. Don't you just need a critical mass to get the loop started, though? And you do get some bio sludge from material science. But depending on the shape of the thing that you're building, that loop might be bigger or smaller. To get started, I mean. Um, I think what I'll do is actually just copy default settings onto these so that we don't have any requests set, and that'll be that. Uh, this one can stay the same though. And so can this one. I think it is positive, but like one per loop. And that science draw needs like a hundred per run, so it took ages. Ouch. Just two of these to go. Wait, one of these to go. Fantastic, we just need a couple more pumps. Um, literally two more pumps. Oh, I need steel as well. Actually, we don't need more than a stack of those. As in the bio sludge is a positive loop, but it's slow. Got there eventually. I have a railgun, Tesla coil, Mark IV jetpack, ready for exploring the pyramids. Nice. And a one, and a two. And that's the end of our uh, biochemical facilities. What's next? Decontamination needs vulcanite blocks. Only one per facility. Uh, but we're looking for 60 of them. And 10 space pipe each. Well, the space pipe is on its way anyway. And apparently we've got some vulcanite blocks here too. Though I don't know if that's just leftovers. Um, I don't suppose we have a stash of vulcanite... Ooh, yes we do. 5.4 thousand. I'll take that. And I'll just chuck it in here. And we can put one stack in there. And then all we're waiting for is the space pipe, which the bots are slowly bringing over. Um, how much space pipe do we actually have in the logistic network? 344, that's enough for 34 of these, which is not enough. Uh, I think I have a rocket full of pipe that we can send. Let's add some stuff to this before we do. Uh, fast inserter. Say 500. Actually, we're going to need a lot, right? Because they're going to be in this thing. 1,000 here. Let's bump this up to 5k. And I'm pretty sure we've got room for that. 
Uh, we'll also get some pumps. And gun turrets, of all things. And what was the other weird thing that we needed to build these machines? Electric furnaces? That's one. Uh, assembly machine two for life support. I think we can just handcraft a few of those. That's all normal. We need pumps for growth facilities as well. Uh, we need some uranium fuel cells. Don't know if we have any of those handy up here. I don't see why we would. So how many of those do we need? Uh, let's see. Nine radiation facilities. Nine times four. So let's add a stack of that. Make it a couple of stacks, why not? Um, anything else? Accumulators. Laser turrets. Simulators. Uh, I think I almost forgot electric furnaces. Don't need too many of those. Right, let's see how full we got 2.3k of these. I thought I requested 2,000. Stop at 2.5. What's next? Those are all good. Uh, chemical plants as well. Chemical plant. Say a hundred. Your rocket loader will get stuck if an item isn't in the network. Have you considered seeing worked around this? Uh, nope. I just make sure the items are in the network. Um, I didn't have to set it up this way. I, I want the automatically loaded stuff to be neat. So I can actually see what we've got easily. Watched yesterday News' Factorio. Uh, I saw it mentioned. I haven't watched a video or anything. Viasha Slave, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Costco Taquitos, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Have you seen the update? Uh, yes, I, I, I saw mention of it and I skimmed a little bit of the uh, the text. Um, it sounds like it's a long way off still. Still pretty exciting. Um, so we're slowly making decontamination facilities. 42 remain. Let's get our spooters move over here and I think I'll focus on having them build for a few minutes while we wait for that rocket to load
I should get them to... Actually, I'll do it myself. I've got some scaffolding on me right this instant. Let's go build that bridge for the long pipes. This part might be a bit overkill. Oh, I don't have any bots on me. Right then. That's definitely a bit overkill. Um, I would rather just grab more scaffolding than overcomplicate this. Xeno progression simulation is a third done. Nice. And scaffolding. Where have you gone to? That's probably way more than enough. And I hope that's the final time that we have to line up this blueprint. Oh, there it was. I should really have lowered my mouse sensitivity for this. But that should do it. Already 50 FPS, what will happen next? Next, I will turn on performance mode. And we're back up to 57. Uh, okay, spooters. Keep doing what you're doing. What the? That delay was weird. Where are these butts going? Seems kind of arbitrary. Alright, they're actually missing a lot of stuff that we need to get them to place. How's our rockets doing? Didn't we already bring up most of the belt? Now we're loading accumulators. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have too much trouble fitting everything we need in this rocket. Got the spiders to place what they can. And there's our material, uh, energy science. Let's park you over there. Also, should probably start building a solar field to help power all this stuff, I guess. Up here seems fine. And... Go grab the rest of the scaffolding. I think all the belt was here. Yeah, we've got 34k belt. Fantastic. We might need to request some more scaffolding, though.
How many flat solars do we have? 8.5 thousand. Nice. I dare say, considering... I can't actually see... It won't fit on the screen how many flat solars we've got here. Uh, what if I just do that instead? 158. Um, I think we are going to be able to provide enough power to support this base somehow. Just a suspicion that I have. That's pretty good. Stop there for now. Burning through that scaffolding very quickly, though. Very, very quickly. We're definitely going to need to send another rocket full of scaffolding, I think. Right then. I missed a spot. One tile. And over here as well. I don't have any bots. Oh, that's what I should send up as well. Uh, more construction bots. And some roboports might be a good idea. Doesn't look like we're in danger of filling up the rocket yet. I'm tempted to get some logistic bots as well. For when we really want to speed things up a bit with the requests. They do seem to be dying out back to only 50 fairly quickly though. Well, there's too much that I want to get done anyway. So let's grab some of those. And one last try to see what I'm forgetting before I send the rocket. Oh, we can make prod fives now. Though they are quite a pain. Biological catalogs are needed. Definitely not going to be building that in the main bus base. We'll do that in the rail block. I think that's everything for now. Oh hey, the more efficient negative 10 degrees recipe doesn't require a higher tech machine. Uh, it looks like it's slower. 10 seconds to make 50, that's 1 to 5. It takes twice as long, 200 seconds for 500. But that's okay, I don't think we've had any trouble keeping up with the fluid. Uh, let's go grab some more scaffolding. I should probably check on this build down here. Seems like they've pretty much finished, except... There's some rail missing up here that's rather critical. Oh, 
There should be trains coming the moment that they finish building those. Yep. Fantastic. And I should probably copy this again before setting any requests for the um, the main train stations coming in. I don't particularly care that we've got those filters set on the inserters, that's no problem. As long as we don't have incorrect trains being sent. So we need to add like one cargo rocket silo to the requests for each of these. Oh, it's already there. As a zero though. Wait, this one doesn't have the same settings. Oh, that's right. I was like about a fifth of the way, probably less, into setting every request, a uh, sixth or less of the way to setting every request for this spider. Um, copy that to here, set you back to yellow. And set all of these. That seems to have resolved the bot issue there for the moment. Uh, let's complete this rail block and this one. And we'll copy-paste this thing across a couple of times. Maybe three. Nice. So that'll be... Uh, seven fours. Twenty-eight more cargo rockets in the rail system. That's actually probably enough. We need 25 for the main bus system, but there's going to be a couple more things I haven't thought of. Oh, where am I? I should have not used the jetpack and just stepped across this. Um, what was I coming back here for? More scaffolding? That'll do. And then... Just like this. And I think I can go do something else and I'll come back and find myself at my destination. That's nice. Go, robots, go. Once we see trains coming here, that's... Uh, that's good. The four blue roboports can almost fit everything in the rail block. Almost. They need more chests. Let's just get them to place what they can. And here we are at our destination. I should probably run some power back up this way as well. No reason not to have these on the same network. But for now, let's place the rest of this. Oops. I 
don't know how far I'm going to get with this. Oh, that was less far than expected. All right, let's go grab some solar panels. Solar panels. That's more than I was thinking of, but that's okay. Um, we can probably fit those here, no problem. I'll give it just a little bit more of a gap, just in case. Whoa, 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 what did I just place there? That's not what we're looking for. I was trying to zoom out while I had the blueprint equipped. Also, I still have no robots. Right, how many is this so far? 343. Let's get the spooders to do it. Please come over here. And let's check on our rocket. Looks like it's ready. Is there anything else I want to send up here? Uh, probably couldn't hurt to add some more... Uh, space assembly machines and such. Actually, they are part of the prerequisites for a lot of these buildings. So I'll put it on this one. And then... I was going to say more cannons on the off chance we need them, but I'm already carrying quite a lot. Uh, I think centrifuges were part of... They were not. Okay. Oh, nuclear stuff. Including, instead of steam engines... Uh, condenser turbines. How many do we need for that blueprint? Did I not save this as a blueprint? Well, we can... The ratio is going to be sort of the same except for water consumption, right? So, about 200 for a nuclear plant. Let's go for 100. Three hundred of those. Just over a thousand. That. And then some nuclear reactors. I don't think we're going to need the nuclear power. But I would rather have it than not. Antimatter reactor. Ooh. Let's do a couple of stacks of those. Uh, there was something that needed assembly machine twos. So we'll bring up a few of those as well. And I'm back to not knowing if we need to send anything else. I'm 
So that'll probably do for now. Still waiting on some logistic bots. That's a little bit surprising. Uh, let's bump this down to 400 and 150. And on to the next thing. Right. Spooters have some solar panels. And place them, please. And I guess I'll go get some more scaffolding. Probably about to run out. Uh, construction spiders. Finish this part of this build, please. I think they've run out of inserters here. Oh, chests. That's a bit of a problem. May as well park them over here. Before they go back for resupply. So many bots. Even without them moving all that fast, this uh, glorious cloud of construction is quite rapid. And over here as well, please. And I think once all those bots are in motion... Move you down here. Gonna need some landfill. How do I... Oh, okay, that's fine. Finish that roundabout, please. Wait. Are they still missing some landfill? Why didn't this get placed? There we go. Alright, once they build this, I think I'll send them back to base. As soon as the bots get in. And off you go. And how's our rocket looking? Oh, I forgot we're doing all this nuclear stuff now. And apparently we don't have that much in storage. I guess I could bump down the requests for this one for now. That's weird. Uh, scrap recycling. Right then. I could cut the requests for this one in half. So it actually gets done quite soon. Nuclear reactors shouldn't be a problem. Uh, 
Cool. Still looking for 15 heat exchangers. Let's get the rest of... Do we really only have a few stacks of scaffolding left? Uh, let's check. Scaffolding. We've got 10k scaffolding somewhere. Uh, but where? Oh, here it is. Easy enough. And over here. Spooters should be almost resupplied. Not even close. That's going to slow down the loading of this thing as well, I think. Oh, I think we're done loading the heat exchangers. Nice. Did we place all the solar here already? I think they're still carrying quite a lot. Yes, indeed. Extend it out this way. And let's just measure this first. We need 6.6k. We've got like half of that. I think I should make a dedicated spider for scaffolding. Oh, that's what we could send up. Uh, except it's not going to have things in it. I could just request the spider plus the things that need to be added. There's plenty of space still. Spider, all caps. Uh... Just the one. Portable RTG. Couple of RoboPorts. I think I'm carrying batteries. Yep. And legs for some reason. Oh, and I guess we're about to find out if the spiders auto-deploy. Alright, let's continue here. I was so much closer than I thought, but it's not enough. Alright, let's go grab some more scaffolding float in general right direction while that's happening move these guys over here how does this line up And obviously we're going to need 
Actually, that's almost a perfect fit. Right then. Back we go. There was a, another broken piece over here. And up this way. And another little bit over here. Or is that already fixed? Hey, Mobile. Good to see. Whoa. Uh, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, Spooters, you're up. Heat pipe is in the way. Oh, I see what happened here. Also, they need some accumulators. How many accumulators is this? That's probably way more than we need. Considering the solar runs 24-7, the accumulators would just be for the umbrella, which... Yeah, I guess it can't hurt to have a lot of them. Alright. Is that scaffolding missing? Yeah, it is. Still, I should probably come up with a layout that's better for just solar. Don't know how good that can really be. Alright, we can remove most of the accumulators. Accumulators go there. and just replace those with flat solar panels where we can. Snap to grid relative. That looks weird. It's just the border of a couple of roboports. For some reason, triggering movement on the spiders tends to refresh the robot's decision-making. The range is such that I should put them in the middle. What's all this? Oh, we're, at, we're up to the space assembly machines. I thought we were nearly done. Uh, let's see. Turrets, turrets, uranium. One chemical plant for some reason. And a couple of Spidertron things. And then this will be fully loaded. Probably about time to grab our construction spiders. Now that they're carrying... Cargo... Wait, what? 
That's no good. Uh, why don't we start... Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why don't we do it like this? I'll just make room for all of these. Procrastinate filling those out for now. They ended up carrying Vulcanite, for example. I need to set some zero filters to make room for other things. Right. Core fragments. Sand. And Vulcanite was the third one from the end. Is it this one? Yep. Are they carrying anything else? Unhelpful, stone and coal. Conveniently fits right here. Let's move you over a little bit. Just trying to get the the white one separate a little bit. Coal and stone. Wood, coal, and stone are the main things we get from deconstructing big areas. Right, you should now be ready to go do something useful. Start with this one. It's sad that spiders cannot be connected to combinators. Yeah. Or something like that. Well, you can with AAI. And I think there's... Uh, I think I've heard there's a couple of ways you can use another mod or two. Uh, to know where the ghosts are, so you can have them automatically go build or deconstruct things. That would be helpful, to say the least. I think we can get them to cover the rest of that now. Nice. Still got a lot of scaffolding. How much scaffolding do I have? 4,000 and a bit. How much is this? That's 4.2k already. Auto save. Let's stop about here. And the rest is easy. Oops. Exactly sure how a 
Like, I could have sworn I had more than 4.2k there, but... Oh, that's 5,000. Well, there you go. Let's grab the rest of... Well, not the rest, but let's grab what we can carry, scaffolding-wise. Let's get our spiders to place something else. Wait, did they run out of... Oh, we did it. This would be a thousand flat solar panels when it's finished. Giving us... It doesn't actually say. Wait. We didn't miss any substations, did we? No, nope, we're good. Uh, just under two gigawatts. Not bad. I think that actually is the end of the scaffolding. Yes, it is. Alright, back to Nervous. And our local spooters. I think that block is complete. Fantastic. I don't think I've got them carrying enough chests. Actually, do I even have them requesting? It would probably help if I had them requesting chests. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do about that. 50. And... Have they run out of cargo rocket silos as well? Probably, since they're only carrying one each, which is fine. How many chests do we need for this block? Kind of hard to tell. Uh, 217, so they can definitely do a block or two on each trip if they just carry one stack. Okay, then. If I have them dance in place for a little while... Actually, no. I'll just wait for it. Uh, let's place the rest of this scaffolding. I'm sure we'll end up expanding the solar out here sooner or later. And that's the end of it. All right. Let's get our spooters to carry some more important buildings. What are we up to here? 21 decontamination facilities to go. Is it really a decontamination facility here? It is. Okay. And what are we missing? Space pipe. We need that rocket. And it looks like it's done loading. Alright, I'm not going to procrastinate launching it any longer. Let's go. Nervous Orbit, it's going to go to a random pad if I don't give this a name. Nervous Orbit, General. Nervous Orbit, General. It's not in alphabetical order. 
Or is this it? No. And off you go. And if the spider auto deploys, we're about to see it. Um, nope, oh, there it is. I'm not seeing an auto deploying spider. It did not. All right. Let's give you some construction things. Uh, I kind of want to set this one up for just scaffolding though. Actually, that stuff should stay. If anything, I should copy paste from the ones on the ground. Now, I'll just leave this one for now. And... That's an awful lot of stuff. I knew there was a reason this was over here. All right, let's add some RoboPorts right about here. Add some more storage. Hope we're not running out of stack inserters. Don't remember where I left my... Oh, yes I do. Storage chest. Uh, the bot's confused. Oh, we've run out of storage chests. All right, that's going to take a minute. Let's look at our spiders on the ground. And get you to finish this build. They do have chests now, right? Yes, good. So go a bit faster if I grabbed some green circuits first. I guess it's not that important. I could also... Uh, it'll probably take quite a while. Well, it's only logistic bots that are affected by the bot wind, so I could extend the logistic network all the way down here. There's no reason not to. Uh, we are completely out of scaffolding, though. Actually, this would probably be a really good opportunity to move uh, the t move the target for where we send the scaffolding to. Also, there is actually some scaffolding left over here. Quite a lot, actually. Um, I'll just get that out of my hair for the moment. And... No, I did need some scaffolding. Because I'm going to run power and roboports between these two bases. So let's do the minimum here. Four blocks. Although, strictly speaking, the minimum would be just adding four wherever we need a roboport. And go. 
And some robo ports here. Uh, if I'm going to make the most of the ports, I'll need to move these big poles. Where am I? Alright, that goes there, that goes there, and this goes in the middle. I don't suppose that is actually the middle. Oh, it is. Fantastic. Blueprint, snap to grid, relative, uh, height is minus one, minus five. That should do it. Let's see how that lines up. All good. Uh, we need to connect it to here. And one down here. That should get some bots involved in construction. And we've got quite a few to spare as well. In fact, we actually just brought all of the bots up here that we can. I think that's all of them. Nope. Uh, can I do a request a chest for bots? Go. It doesn't seem to be cutting it. Thought I saw bots over here somewhere. I don't think they already got picked up. Yeah, no. Oh, there's no... Sodas here. That makes more sense. Uh, so... There they go. Probably got enough bot activity now that it's going to be a little bit of a problem with recharging. No issue with power anyway. And it might be wise to run RoboPorts everywhere to get this thing to auto-build. See how the construction of uh, of our productive buildings is going. Still quite a lot to go. What are we on now? Space pipe. Uh, I thought we brought that. Yeah, we definitely did. All right, let's just. Manually grab what we can and bring it over here. Fantastic. That's the last of our 
space chemical plants. Oh, those are the decontamination facilities, actually. Even better. 12 to go. We need more LDS. And I'll take all of that, please. Um, do we have room to just shove it in some of these chests? There we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Fantastic. Next is genetics facility. We need nutrient vats. I think we've got a pretty big stash of those here. Uh, we're just direct inserting them. I think we made a bunch of them over here before, but maybe we got rid of those already. So we actually don't have any in storage. How many nutrient vats do we need? Uh, 20 times, this is genetics facility, that's like only a couple, right? Literally two. So we need 40. King Fnub, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. And how was your stream today? I'll just wait for these, they're getting built quite quickly. Hey lol gamers, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not too bad, started a solo frontier run with integration. That sounds fun. Uh, is it spicy integration? I need to play around with some integration. I was gonna say next playthrough, but maybe I should start doing multiple playthroughs concurrently so I can have a something a bit different. Eleven deaths so far and counting. All viewer assisted. <laughs> nice. Using Hydro's viewer loop. Gotta make a note of that. Hydro's viewer loop. Eleven rockets and counting. Alright. Um let's see. What was I doing here? We need lamps, of all things. Um, I don't think I requested any of those. And we're gonna need a thousand. Yikes. Lamp. Oops. La map. Uh, copper cable, glass, iron plate. I don't think we've got copper cable here directly. Copper cable... Actually, how much do I have on me? It's normally 200, but... That's weird. I don't have any requests for copper... Yes, I do. Okay, but I don't have any right now. Copper cable. Um, and iron plate. Glass is on its way. I always hate to raid and run, but it's 135 here, so I'm going to hit the hay. No worries. Nothing wrong with raid and run. 
Much appreciated. Take care, Kingflip. Every launch means I have to launch an additional rocket to complete the scenario. Ouch. <laughs> All right. Take care. All right, so that's going to be the lights that we need uh, eventually. We need a, th a thousand lights. Or lamps, rather. Wait, where are you going with that? Did you just give the lamp to the Spidertron? You did. Oh, we do have requests for lamps here. I'm a little surprised, but it probably just came from copy-pasting the ground spiders. Uh, on the plus side, that means we've got a bunch of lamps already. On the minus side, the bots will probably keep sending them to the spiders as a priority. Like so. Alright, that's gonna take a little while at this rate. Let's give it a hand. We need glass and copper and iron. Just take all of that. Uh, glass and iron and copper. This is quicker, I guess. Uh, is my RoboPort switched off? No? That was weird. Now where is it going with the lamps? Oh, to the other spider? Alright. I wish you could set priorities on the logistic requests. Also, I don't think we need the nutrient vats in here anymore. I'll just shove them in a chest for the moment, in case I'm wrong. Alright, back to Nalvis. Uh, and finishing these builds. Hopefully. Seems like this one's going to be done. We already have a rocket ready to go, that's fantastic. Uh, seems like we're demanding a lot from rocket fuel by building all of these at once. But that's okay, I suppose. Come to think of it, if we're building a bunch of these next to each other, we could connect the piping and only have one drop-off station for the rocket fuel. Let's see, rocket fuel... It's actually looking... Oh, I see. Nope, oh, that's another 1600. It's not looking that bad. I should have more of these oil blocks by now, though. Uh, maybe f landfill this and build another one here would be a good idea. We did finish getting rid of most of this stuff. Don't touch the robot ports just yet. And fill. Oh. 
That's fine, we can have the trains supply the water for this now. Just happens to be next to our mall block. We can let the bots handle that one. Uh, where did our spooders go? No more cargo rocket silos. The main thing is we get everything else in place. The actual cargo rocket silos are pretty trivial. And then... Away go the chests. Fantastic. Next I'll get them to build another oil block. All right. I don't think we've got landfill in this robo network, do we? No, we don't, but we do have stone. I'm pretty sure. Oh, we do have landfill. Okay. So the bots are just prioritizing emptying the chest. Fair enough. This pipe is a bit weird. It doesn't go anywhere anymore either. Oh, I remember. This was part of one of the old defensive walls. That seems so long ago now. Not going to worry about a little bit of crude oil. Uh, can we get the spiders to tidy up this part? And I suppose... They won't be able to place everything yet, but may as well get started. Back to space. Um, how many lamps do we have now? Considering that one's full, we don't have enough logistic bots to keep up with this. How many more growth facilities are we making? Seven. So we need like 700 uh, lamps. That's going to take a minute. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't be surprised seeing all the bot activity or anything, but... Bot cloud go bl uh, go burr. Uh, I thought I brought 25 cargo landing pads up here, but that might be wrong. I should definitely get those big electric motors out of that particular landing pad. And I don't think I can do it in one trip. Not quite. And I guess away go our speed modules. That's something I don't think I calculated whether I had enough. 2.4 thousand. Should have sent that up with that last rocket. 
let's go drop these in storage and hypercooler as well I guess actually no that should go somewhere a bit more specific until I decide I'll just give it to the spider that is a lot it's not a bad thing Right, back to Nalvis. Uh, they actually finished building quite a bit already. About over this side. They don't seem to be carrying refineries. Do we have them requesting refineries? Uh, no. No, we do not. So, one stack of those. I lost it. There it is. One stack of chemical plants. Wait, don't... do oil refineries stacked at 20? Did I miss that? Oil refinery? No, it's 10. Alright, so this one is correct. Gonna need to remove this. That might leave our RoboPort a bit sad. So let's just connect that up here for now. Oh! This thing is making refineries, isn't it? Uh, though I don't see where they are. I actually have no idea where those fuel refineries came from. Oh, no big deal. Uh, let's just wait until the bots finish with the landfill. And we'll get the spiders to continue that build after that. Right, big electric motors, get out of there, and what? Oh, that's fine actually. I thought there were some big electric motors in that chest for a second. How's our military doing? Where did I even leave them? Up here. Get them to clear out the pollution cloud a bit. It's not going to take too much ammo wise. Not going to be dangerous just yet. But I... Hmm. How many rockets do they have right now? 700 or so, except for the one at the front. Okay. Let's get you to clear out this space. And... Over here. And 
then I'll get you to resupply. And away they go. What's next? Um, don't put the rest of these. And then lights go in here. Uh, we're still looking for five growth facilities. We're slowly getting there. Why do I have delivery cannon capsules? Also, I've run out of rocket fuel almost. Let's pick up a little bit more. Don't want to trouble the bots with it. Oh, that's right. I still haven't done anything about these blank data cards. Uh, so I think somewhere there must be... Read hand contents poll screen wire, that's correct. Somewhere there's a machine putting blank data cards back into the system, uh, onto the sushi belt, and it's counting it negatively, I think. Which means it's on the red wire. There's only a few machines, okay, there's like a dozen, um, that'll drop blank data cards into the system. Uh, read hand contents, pulse, no condition, that's fine, that has to happen. We really don't need to be putting catalogs on the belt. Let's get rid of this one. This is looking a bit better. So that's it for those two sciences. Where else do we output blank data cards? Uh, this one. Oh, there it is. I used the wrong wire on these two. So instead of a red wire, this should be green. Because it's adding to the belt. And the next step is to get rid of all these blank data cards. Of which there are many. I need a stack filter inserter. I'm pretty sure they're in the robo network somewhere. I think. Could be wrong about that. Where else could I find them? The spiders might have some? They do. Right. Come over here, please. I'm sure we'll have him in triple digits before he finds the silo. Ouch. Uh, before I set the filters for these... We're gonna want to... Well, actually, no. I'm not gonna even count them this time. 
blank data card. I'll try just removing all the blank data cards I can from the sushi belt and then setting the count to zero. And if they fit in here, we'll just turn these inserters around and set the count and conditions. Maybe I shouldn't even worry about it, honestly. We're working on moving on to an entirely new base for basic space science. Still making the growth facilities. Uh, how's that block looking on Nalvis? Looks like the landfill is done, question mark? That one... Not so much. Not sure why that was overlooked. This is also a bit of a mess. Do we really not have steel chests down here? We do have steel chests. We've got 1.6k steel chests. Does that Roboport not extend up there? That's why. Okay. Uh, in any case, we may as well get the construction spiders back into it. I guess we can leave that running for a little while. Um, I would love to see what, if anything, besides copper. Copper is what we're missing to make this go faster. And a bit of iron as well soon. I've run out of speed modules. Actually, how do you make speed modules again? Red and green circuits and then uh, red, green and blue circuits and then batteries. I seem to recall sending up a bunch of batteries for some reason? Or was that going to be on the bus here? That's not batteries. Nope. Better if I just send up more modules. 98. Uh, 300 more lamps to go before we switch over to the next recipe. And then, seems the bots have finished doing what they can reach over here. Uh, how about we get our spiders to place all of these lovely buildings. Research complete. We have another way to make significant data and blank data cards. With super cooled thermo though. Um, I guess some more cargo rocket safety wouldn't be a bad thing. Not much else. Oh, no, we're not doing mining productivity. Not until we have a higher throughput. So, cargo safety, I think. Oh, and rocket survivability. Reduces the chances it gets damaged in transit or have a navigational failure. 
Okay, it's a bit expensive at the moment though. Uh, I kind of want to wait till we get the last of the growth facilities, but it's going to take a little while. Let's just go with this. And... Anything else? A couple of space manufactories. That should be fine for now. Off you go. And check on this block again. Uh, I think I should probably... Remove all the substations and... Uh, Robopods. With a filter so that I don't miss them. And then we can replace anything that wasn't supposed to be removed. Oops. Alright, looks like that's the end of that. Hopefully no other weird little things in here that I'm missing. There's a couple of items here. We need landfill. Can we prioritize the landfill, please? Are they not carrying landfill? Uh, whoops. Let's go get some. Could have sworn I set them up to carry landfill. Which thing does this go in? It's in the first... Okay. Exactly one stack. And is it this one? No, this one. Yes. Don't click on the white spider. Right, now they also carry landfill. Still looking pretty good in terms of inventory space. Alright, hopefully this time we can place everything. Nope. Still some random stuff over here. And why is there still that robopod? Uh, I guess cancel and then deconstruct. There we go. There's one little building over this way. It's having trouble. And for some reason, okay, I don't think that bit of rail sticking out on the right side is going to be a problem. Is 
There's still a couple of things over here. Medium pole and some chests. Or a chest. One more. How about now? That might finally do it. Except we've got these bots hovering here until the end of time. Are we not running beacons? Uh, we are not. Should get them to carry some modules as well. Uh, one stack of efficiencies for each spider seems overkill, but what can you do? Maybe just have the white spider carry it, but then it's fine. Copy, paste, paste, paste. And send them back for resupply. And once that's done, get them to finish this build finally. Alright, we're still making growth facilities. Uh, we need 124 lamps. Seems we're missing iron plate. Let's go grab some. That's a lot, actually. And how's our sushi belt looking? Uh, I'm not seeing any more... Oh, that's the old one. Uh, not seeing a whole lot of blank data cards. I mean, there's actually quite a few, but... We could probably let that be for now. Or maybe give it a few more minutes. I'd like to get the count close to zero so that we can have a fairly accurate count of them. I'm not going to reset the entire belt just to fix this, especially when we're not going to be using the sushi belt for that much longer. Alright, well there's quite a bit of space on the belt, so this is probably fine. Uh, so, we need to pulse... Uh, how much even is it? Well, we can figure it out. Easiest way to do it is just pulse off 33k. Pulse generator, there we go. Um, we're going to want a positive number because this is negative. So this goes to here, and this goes here. Like data card, 33,000. So once I switch this on, moment, now we're at negative 500. And we know there's still quite a few blank data cards on the belt, but I don't really want to try to estimate how many. Let's just reset the count to 
zero-ish. It seems we're consuming a bunch of them. No, it's adding to the belt. Okay. Um, 500. Go. So now this system thinks we've got 30 blank data cards on the belt. And all of these are going to stop when that number reaches 100. Actually, no, they're not. Some of them... The one that specifically uh, produces blank data cards is going to stop when this reaches 100. So... Where are you going with that? I completely forgot I had any logistic bot system to consume these. Alright, I guess we can just leave these in their boxes. I was going to set up something to put these back on the belt bit by bit, but that's not really necessary, is it? Right, back to our spiders. They've been resupplied. Oh, maybe. Are they getting some modules given to them still? I'm not overly concerned by that just yet. Just want to get the rest of this built. Although I suppose since all that's left is beacons, they've already got the productivity modules, so I'm not stressed about that part. Seems pretty good. Provide threshold. 10 million. That must have been before I changed the default settings. Because with a default setting of a thousand, it would think that there was iron available for pickup here or something. Uh, meanwhile, why have we not received a water delivery over here? Negative 180,000. We don't really need that priority system anymore. I could simplify this a bit, but this is fine. We're asking for 180k water. And... It's only got a request stack threshold, that's the issue. That just needs to change to a regular request threshold, 16k, since the stack one doesn't work with fluids. And that should be our water train. Fantastic. What about here? Are we doing the same thing with request threshold 100k? I guess that's fine. We do have our crude oil, so that does appear to be working. Um, let's not forget to finish this bit of rail. And we might need to add some pipe over here as well. That's definitely looking a bit odd. I think this was because I was using pipe directly from the uh, water supply here. So where does this connect? Here, here, 
and here that should be okay Oh, there we go. Alright, cool. Didn't have to change anything. Don't need those, though. Right. That should make it easier to keep up with fluid demand. can't even remember what it was that prompted me to do that, to be honest. Uh, let me just drop off some of these construction bots. Can only use a hundred at a time, I think. Yep. Uh, and I think I was loading the spiders with this stuff. That's right, I got distracted because I wanted to finish making the growth facilities. Did we really use up all that glass already? Glass goes here. And in here. We need less than a hundred lamps now. Oh, fantastic. And that just leaves some glass. Four hundred. I guess that makes sense. And we're finally done making growth facilities. What comes next? Radiation. We definitely... Oh, there it is. Good. Logistics storage, 136. I need 4 times 9. That's fine. Alright, let's grab all of these. Give them to the spooders. Where did the spooders go? I'll go visit the spooders instead of bringing them back here this time. And you can carry these, you can carry these, you can carry these, and so on. Off you go. Fantastic. We really need a lot of speed modules that we don't have up here. Well, we don't strictly need them. Uh, that can be a, pretty much the lowest priority to finish this build. Still a few decontamination facilities that weren't placed yet. Uh, did they get spirited away over here somewhere? Who knows? Did I not set the requests for them? I did. I could have sworn we made as many as we needed. Oh, we can always make some more. Already got a radiation facility. Fantastic. Uh, I guess I'll go grab some belt. And while we're doing that...
Do we have them carrying pipe? Not yet. We do, actually. They're just... Did I not have them request the 15 of pipes? I did. 15 pipes should be here somewhere. There they are. I suppose I'll pick them up myself. If I can find them. Belts and belts. And pipe. Let's just grab all of this. And away we go. Meanwhile on Nalvis, that's looking pretty good. What should we do next? Probably uh, we can finish a couple of these builds. I think it takes two trips. Each spider's carrying one cargo rocket silo. It's going to take a while for rocket fuel. Oh, that's right. This is the reason that I wanted uh, more oil processing. Because rocket fuel has a long way to go. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, I should be placing some more stuff myself. Did I... Oh, this is actually all being placed. Off we go over here then. Get you to finish this if you can. Probably not. So we need five more cargo rocket silos. And then I would like to add way more oil production than we need. Considering how much crude oil we've got stored and how much rocket fuel we need right now, it's probably a good idea to make like a couple more blocks than we need over the long run to keep up with this. So we can get all of these rockets fueled. Not getting a lot of space capsules here. Even though it didn't take long for a couple to be sent over. Uh, where are we even making them? I think they're just getting picked up from the old main bus base which is not necessarily ideal. Whoop, that's not what I was looking for. We're not making any space capsule here. Nope. All right then. 
so that's a lot of stuff actually let's see what we can muster we could get rocket control units delivered Oh, I did change all this to be universal. So... Could just change this here. What do the rocket sections stack to now? Ten. Alright, nice and easy. 1600 rocket thingies, control unit, and in a few seconds we should see this light turn yellow. Any minute now. Do we have those in the network already? No, we don't, because this wouldn't be red. Also, one stack, one stack, half a stack, two stacks, two stacks. Okay, it's not going to overflow. But those default settings... Uh, we don't need that provide stack threshold anymore. Why is this taking an eternity? Rocket control units. Oh, is this it? it? Seems there's two trains heading for this station at the moment. Or oh, you're going back to depot. Okay, is this, uh, you're just delivering to here. Was it because this was in use? Uh, where's our rail block? I mean, train limit one, of course. Was that switched on? It is. And here we're requesting four train loads of rocket control units. Did I set the priority higher? Nope. I'm not entirely sure why... This is 10k, so there's multiple train loads full of this right here available. Um, request stack threshold, 4.8k. Stacks to 10. 160 is a train. 160 stacks. 160 times 10 is indeed 1600. We're asking for 1600. Don't tell me there's like one... No, there wouldn't be. Oh. When did this happen? Did we already have rocket control units here, or did a train sneak in while I wasn't looking? Considering that they're in these chests over here... Uh, I can only guess I had them delivered before? Except I'm not finding a request for them anywhere. Uh, 
Oh, that's a little weird. Whatever the case, uh, we are making space capsules here again. Or not again, I should say. What's the problem this time? You're trying to have 3,000 iron plate. And we don't have that much in the network here. We are requesting iron plate, so that shouldn't be an issue for long. Except I thought I saw this train here earlier. Um, iron plate. It seems we've got... There's only 17k here available, but that is more than a train load. 18k here. 18k here. And you are stuck. Okay. Um, I don't know how I can fix this remotely. There's just a little bit of iron in each of these. I guess I could just send it to its destination. It'll take the glass and then that'll go back to the depot. Uh, none of these are still sticking out. Don't know how that happened. Oh, this one's sticking out. I can actually fit, fix this remotely, although it's going to put a bunch of stuff on the ground. Not gonna lie, I'm more than a little disappointed that these precise loaders seem to work 99.9% .9 of the time. And I have no idea why that would be. Unless we're having power outages. Which, last I checked, for 50 hours it looked like absolutely not. Steam turbines did drop off to nothing 20 hours ago, but that doesn't necessarily mean it could have meant that they weren't needed. Hmm. Uh, let's reposition so our bots do some stuff. I don't want to use the jetpack because it resets all the bot behaviors while they're in flight. Can we place some of this stuff yet? There's our hypercooler. Alright, that's a few bot jobs. Um. And I was considering maybe we need some more furnaces. Considering the iron inputs on all of these are full. And every one of them that I checked until I found that one there, which had problems, uh, was just a little bit over one train load available. I'm wondering if we've actually got uh, some iron plate issues. I don't think that's going to fix... Uh, how much iron plate do we have in the network here? Not a whole lot. It should tell us over here somewhere. Somewhere where we're requesting iron plate. That's it. We don't even have... Yeah, we've got zero. Finally. 
I think having this set to 20k was somehow bad. Maybe, I don't know. Alright, so that should get you out of the way. And that means a train can come and pick up some of these space capsules. Which should keep things going. That's the last of our belt. Spiders can go over here, I guess. Uh, I have a whole lot of pipe to place. Could definitely stand to... I think here is a good spot to make some more oil. Uh, not that it's close to any... Well, it is close to that oil field, but more to the point, the there'll be a very short trip to take the finished rocket fuel to where it needs to go. Uh, so let's grab our construction spiders. Head over here. That's not what I was looking for. Copy our oil block. Except for this part. And that should be fine. Spooters, do you think? And then, uh, let's do something with our green spiders. Straight back to the northwest front. Should do it. Alright, I don't want to be too greedy. Let's get them to resupply after that. I think my bots... No, we're fine. Oh, if they're carrying the, uh, oh, I can always move them. I was going to say, if they're carrying the three telescopes that I made, I should probably be careful about where I place them. Let's go. 
quite a lot to place. Where's our spider gang? Spiders, do you think? Let's be careful about not building this before we finish the one on the left. That'll be fine. I should add some uh, tags. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. And I think this one's done. Got some trains on the way. Fantastic. Uh, don't need that bit of straight rail there. Or there for that matter. Let's continue. Did they get all the prods in place? Yeah, I think they did. Actually kind of surprised how many they can carry. How many is this? It doesn't actually include the prods here. Alright, let's move on a bit. Uh, speeders. Do you think? Gonna need some long arms. Don't suppose they have the rest of the long pipes on them? Time to head back for some resupply, I think. Oh, I've still got a lot of pipe on me. I should try and make sure I drop all of it. Or at least as much as possible. Probably going to have to send the spiders back for modules, but they might even finish building this thing otherwise. We're missing some underground pipe. But not productivity modules, so I don't have to worry about that. 
We got our water and crude and iron, fantastic, and coal. Hold things operational. Let's not forget to make sure this roundabout is finished. Very important for this station right here. And let's head back to base. Once the butts catch up. Right then. Away you go. That should help. Still going to take some time, I think, to uh, fuel all of these. That one's fine. That one, not so much. Uh, it's not going to take as long as I thought. I probably should have had the spiders drop by this spot. They were probably carrying the cargo rocket silos. Alright, I think we're just about done dropping off what I can carry. Possibly the same deal with our spooters. Let's see if they're still carrying any belt. I see undergrounds and splitters, just not regular belt. Well, undergrounds and splitters count as well. Alright, let's bring him back for resupply. And the same goes for me. And what do we have going on here? Electromagnetics facility. Uh, I did send up a bunch of accumulators, didn't I? Was it not enough? Or did I just... I think I may have calculated it very roughly, how many we need. Uh, let's see. 20 times... Uh, 6 more. Not that much, actually. We might need it for some other things as well, though. Uh, so the next... R I think I forgot to... Yeah, I forgot to change the requests here. We don't have that much belt left. Oh, this is only requesting a thousand. Don't know if I want to unload that one. Probably do, actually. Uh, anyway, let's turn off these requests for now. A lot more belt would seem to be a good idea. We're stuck on underground, which I don't think we need more of, actually. So let's set this to zero for now. Uh, we could fit 50,000 belt if absolutely necessary. This whole thing is 50,000. I remember sending up another 44k, so I might have calculated all the belt we need. Uh, I definitely wouldn't mind having extra. So let's make this like 10k. And we need a lot of modules. Uh, 
like 2,000? 2.4 thousand. I don't think I'm going to need to send a whole lot of productivities up here. I tend to be carrying them and then I leave them here. And we can only put productivity modules in the labs. So what else did we need? Accumulators. Hundreds of them, not thousands, but since we're going to the trouble of making a trip, uh, how many do we even have available? Emulators. Uh, more than 3,000. All right, let's, let's just send up 3,000. I would much rather send up extra and uh, deal with that later. Or rather not have to deal with needing more. We're missing some underground pipe here still. Don't forget that. And military spiders just about finished their run. They haven't even taken a scratch. And they're at about three quarters ammo or a bit less. In that case, let's get you to do a little bit more while you're here. And follow the pollution cloud up this way, I guess. Uh, I will get them to resupply because it's going to be a minute before I pay attention to them again. So what are we on now? Right, the accumulators. We've already got all of our space belt in here. Uh, 2,900, sure. And then some pipe. Uh, might be overkill. I don't think we need more pipe. No, we already calculated all of that. And there was definitely some up here already. So that just leaves the accumulators, which we know we already have. And a bunch of speed modules. Um, I really should have more than one chest. For speed modules, although that's not the issue right now. Production's relatively slow, but usage is very bursty. Okay, that's a lot of prods. Well, it's not relatively bursty, it is bursty. It's only when we build new machines. I guess we'll just settle for however many speed modules we can send up when this, uh, when the loading of them slows down. 
Okay. Let's give you some more stuff to place. And... Don't know what else. Uh, how about some pipe and belt? That's the bulk of what you need to be placing anyway. And I guess I will just add this one. Is it not control click? Yeah, it is. Alright. Let's give you all some belt. stuff. Just in case I missed any of these earlier. I don't think they need any more storage tanks. Probably already overkill with the splitters. And you're not even close to full yet. That's good. And I don't think we need any more of these, but that's fine. Alright. Please go forth and build things. Uh, I guess I'll get them to start on that corner over there. And... Oh, there's a lot more belt over here as well. Whoops. That would have been a lot easier to give to them. Alright, let's use my player character for that. And check on Nalvis. What were we doing with our construction spiders? I actually don't know what to do with them next. I guess we could do even more oil, but I don't know that that's really necessary at this point. Uh, until I decide, let's just get him to build some of this rail. Oh, we wanted to get this done, didn't we? I wonder if I could design the green signs while they're all here. Oh, that thing's already ready? Oh, or was it there before? That makes sense. Seems we've got liquid rocket fuel at all of these stations. Fantastic. Uh... If I were to redesign this whole block, uh, I mean, I guess I could just add pipes as it is, but I would kind of like the storage for the liquid rocket fuel to go along in a line so that these all connect to each other. Uh, in a way that looks kind of more organic. Very odd little piece of rail to be missing over here. Oh, I, I think I can guess why. It's doing the thing where if you paste a blueprint down, sometimes it doesn't recognize that it needs to demolish a cliff. Yep. 
Okay. What are we doing here? Uh, I might just focus on getting one main bus built at a time. Especially since, to some extent, I can just place myself on the belt and let it happen. Spooters. Get over here, please. And continue. What's this? Electric boilers. I can just handcraft those. This little trick is fairly effective. Well, the bots really have a lot of work to do. Oh, did we finish loading this? We're down to speed modules. How many have we got? 1.6k, that's actually a bit closer to our target than I was expecting, but... Considering how long it's going to take to make like 800 to 1,000 of them. Over the last hour, we've made 3.3 per minute. Uh, we're looking at four hours if we don't change anything. I suppose we could copy-paste this block we did for um, productivity modules. Whoops. Damn it, I keep doing that. Is it the same here? Does it need batteries? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we need... It's going to be... We don't need a whole lot of productivity modules at the moment. I could just change the recipes here. That seems like a good play. One, one, one. Two. Three. And that should do it. And luckily we didn't end up with any weirdness on this belt. Now that I think about it, um, crafting combinators, switching up recipes would be a great way to deal with modules. It'd be kind of like an omni smelter, only easier. Oh, pardon me. Slowly getting there.
That's kind of a beautiful sight. Actually, we're slowly creeping toward the point where I have to think about getting the rockets to come up here with the stuff we need um, before the base is complete. So why don't we have a peek at that? Uh, the first thing we need is rough data storage substrate. I haven't set up a rail block on the ground to make those. Iron plate, obviously we can do that. Uh, why is this not in the robo network? I guess we could just add that over there. These are one tile off connecting. I'll just do that instead. This whole thing is connected, right? Yeah, it seems good. All right, so my bots are upset with me. Let's take a nap here. Group hug. Uh, and the spooters. Over here, probably. What was I about to do? Iron plate rocket. So these ones are all taken, I think. That one's supposed to be... You know what? I should use filter inserters here just so I can easily see what's supposed to go in this rocket. Uh, anyway, that is supposed to be girders. Uh, so, on to this one. Iron plate. In fact, I should probably add some tags for this. This is the extract. kind of want to add some small tags. So, what if I do this? That's going to have the little Google Maps thing. Um, so I guess not. Add tag, icon, extract. And spice. It's going to be a bit crowded, but still going to be easier to see what's what. If I do them next to each other on the train stations instead, it's going to be just as bad. Uh, big electric. Oh, we did do a... We did do one for big electric motors already. Well then. I think this already has a target, actually. Nope. Okay. Uh, iridium plate. And this one is supposed to be girders. Batteries and Holmium plate. Holmium plate. All right, and down here we're going to do iron plate. And that one belongs here. 
I run flight. And we just have to add a request. Should just be a few seconds before we get a train coming. If this is... yep, there it is. I was just thinking I should change the name of the station. Rip. Uh, and we need to set the name of this. Nervous Orbit Iron Plate. It's down here. I think. Yep. Nervous Orbit Iron Plate. There we go. Launch on cargo full seems good. We could we can add circuitry to make sure it actually waits till the last one is full, but that's only gonna matter on the first launch. Not gonna worry too much about that. How's our train doing? Doesn't seem to be having any trouble getting there. Uh, and it's going to take three and a bit trains, four deliveries before that thing actually launches, but it should launch automatically. Let's continue filling out the belt for iron. And what else was I doing? Uh, back in orbit. Should move our spiders around a bit more. Let's check up on this production. It's still the accumulators we're waiting for. Uh, we're waiting for more speed modules. How many do we have? 2.2k. We're actually almost there already. That was easier than I thought it would be. So what would it look like if I used crafting combinators here? We'd need three circuit outputs to set these. Uh, I could have a decider combinator go output a speed module or productivity module and then use some decider modules to set this one, this one, and this one. Then we have to worry about having enough space in the passive provider chest as well. We could always have a pair of outputs for each of these. Hmm. Bots are upset again. Group hug. Spooters. Do your thing. I guess it's mostly belt that I need to give them at this stage. Seems like it. Having trouble... Okay, there's some big facilities to place, obviously. But in terms of the high volume thing, it seems like it might just be belt at this stage. And I stand corrected. Uh, what's next up here? Copper plate. Seems like a good thing to set up. Right next to iron. And 
And that's going to be this train station. Uh, let's update the name of this while we're here. And it's not in use. This one is copper plate. One train load of that. Actually, I suppose it makes more sense to uh, to aim to have a spare a spare rocket worth of stuff in here, since we can definitely fit that. This is five hundred slots, and this is. 24 times 48. More than double that. So yeah, I think it's actually pretty appropriate to ask the logistic network for at least one cargo rocket fall to be ready. Uh, what's next? Next is glass. Where, where are we doing this? Glass, whoops. Right about there. And this is going to be the third one from the right. Glass, request. Uh, wait, where is that going? Alright, just so that I know that's not actually glass. I just realized there could be a situation where I want raw fish delivered here, but it's not like we can automate such high volumes of it. Um... All right, glass requester, 50k, fantastic. This one's already half full, almost. And who's next? Iron, copper, glass, steel, of course. And that one goes here, actually. Steel requester. And that should be that. And then... Who's next? Green circuits. We've already got a green circuit... Uh... If I set this to Nalvis Orbit BC, just like this one, does that mean that this thing that I've got targeted at Nalvis Orbit EC will launch to that one as well? Now's a perfect time to find out. We're going to move it into the rail network regardless, but... Let's see what this does. Yep. 
Alright, well in that case, let's remove that from this one. And here come our circuits. Fantastic. Uh, next is red and blue circuits. Oh, uh, let's not forget to actually add this to the network. Uh, if we're going to do red, green, and blue, I kind of want green, red, blue, like that. Wait, are we going to do blue? I'm sure we're going to do blue. Yeah. Okay. So this will be green circuit requester. Change the filters and uh, I guess this goes a hundred thousand. So that's going to be targeted at Nervous Orbit EC. And launch trigger is uh, launch on cargo full. Just double check all of those are set to that. Launch on cargo full. You should be aimed at... I don't think I set a target. I, I don't think I named this one here yet. Nervous Orbit Glass. Nervous Orbit Steel. Nervous Orbit EC. Iron Plate. Nervous Orbit EC. That's probably going to do the same thing. Uh, I think the red circuit one is over here somewhere. Yep. Except your cargo is actually not full. Okay. Uh, you can switch off. And... We'll set that up in the rail network. Red circuits go here. Blue circuits go here. Alright. This one. Red circuit requester. I suppose I could be a bit more descriptive with the name, like Red Circuit and a Cargo Rocket Silo or something. It's fine. 100,000. And this one is Blue Circuits. This goes here. Blue Circuits only stacks to 100. Do the name first. Fifty thousand. Nice. Almost full on the iron plate. Didn't take long at all, really. Red and blue circuits are also on their way. Uh, and that's this entire rail block dedicated to those resources. We're actually bottlenecking on capsules at this point. 
Uh, seems we've got some on the way, though. You seem to be confused. We do not have any capsules available here. Go home, please. I'm going to have to seriously rethink this system. You'd think it'd be foolproof. Um, whatever's in the logistic network, that's what's available to LTN. And then when the... Uh, when the train gets here, it sets the request. But somehow we find trains asking for things that we don't have. Possibly because... Uh, two trains came for capsules at the same time. So if that's the case, that should fix it. We'll give it some time, and if we don't see a train getting stuck here for that reason again, we'll suppose that may have been the fix. Perfect timing. Here's a demonstration. Nice. Spooters. What are you doing? Walk around until you find somewhere for your bots to do something. Uh, I should get them to request long arm inserters as well. That's a lot of pipe. Okay, that's something for them to do. Hey, here's our iron. Feels good. Place myself over here for now. Uh, what's next on the main bus? Rocket... Oh, satellite telemetry. Uh... I don't think we have that in the rail network. We do have it here. I might just redirect this one for now. But I might have to think about uh, doing a rail block for that. So what's the target? Nervous orbit satellite telemetry. All we have to do is... Change the name of this. And this should be launching. Very nice. That up actually opens up a lot of possibilities that I hadn't really thought about before. The fact that cargo rockets can have many destinations as long as they're all on the same surface. Uh, the car cargo rocket silos, rather. Alright, so that is that one taken care of. Uh, what's next? Rocket fuel. That's going to be expensive. Well, the overall throughput might not be that high, but to get one rocket sent automatically, it's going to be a little over the top. Uh, it stacks to 10, doesn't it? Rocket fuel requester. Yeah, I know it stacks to 10. 5,000. Rocket fuel... And set the filters. That'll do. I was going to say it should be sending a train in a few seconds, but I don't know how much 
uh, solid rocket fuel we've got available at the moment. This one actually looks good though. I probably should rethink this loading thing. One solution I did come up with, um, which is a little unfortunate though, but if you're going to have trains of different sizes pick up from the same station, uh, you could always just... the absolute easiest version of it would just be wait until the chests are full before you allow a, a train to come and pick something up. You could calculate the minimum. Um, I guess you could do a balanced loader. Actually, you could do a balanced loader and only if there's a full train load available do you pass that signal through to LTN. That might be a better way to do it. Uh, anyway, I think I forgot a step setting up our solid rocket fuel here. Should I change it to SRF? Nah. Alright. Launch on cargo full. Alvis or Oh, it's not good that I've copy-pasted the destination. Well, luckily that one's never going to be empty. At this rate. Uh, Alvis Orbit Solid Rocket Fuel. Launch on cargo full. Fantastic. Just going to have to hope that that's correct. And one more, and then I'll take a little break. Uh, what do we got? Vulcanite blocks. That's going to... That's going to take a while. Novus Orbit Vulcanite block. Yeah, I think we need it another planet. Well, actually, at the very least, we should be uh, adding another core mining drill here. Get it up to something like 8 or 10 per second. Core fragments. But I don't know if we are very slowly catching up with our demand for Vulcanite blocks. Or, uh, or if we're not keeping up at all, which I suspect is the case. Considering that we still haven't got Vulcanite blocks delivered to here. My butts are upset again. Uh, did we end up... There's no Vulcanite. Did this get jammed? No, it's working just fine. Hmm. It's not that we've put it all in here. That's a lot of Vulcanite, actually. I would have thought LTN would do a better job balancing these stations out. Still, it's not so much that, like... Okay, it kind of is. For the space science, for items that could be sent in cannons, I cheated... Uh, sent them to a cannon in front of the landing pads. Why is to stop delivery of chests? I also sent ingots up. Smelted them behind the pads and into plates, then fed into the chests. Same smarts, no cannons if the chest was full. Got science going quickly. 
so basically did as much as possible on the ground and cannoned it all right next to where the final production point. That sounds like. Uh, okay. Nervous Orbit Vulcanite Block. This is going to take a while and we might have to go out of our way to improve the throughput before we get this. Uh, let's set it up now anyway. Nervous Orbit Vulcanite Block. And then... Launch on Cargo Full. That's good. Second one, as expected. Requester. And we need to ask for 50k. If you permit, I can send a screenshot, by all means. Uh, permit. There we go. Let's have a look. Oh, I think I see what you mean. So you kind of use the cannons to get the bus going in the short term as well. Seems good. Made some heavy girders up there as well for the Tesla slash railguns and ammo. Railgun ammo. Wait, I didn't misread that. Okay. Uh, where are we? And why did trying to open the map not work a few times there? I think I've got some more... I do not have some more belt left over right now. Let's jump in the spooder. And go for a little ride. Back for resupply. Uh, to Borga, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'll give it a quick save here. And I'm going to need a break for just a couple of minutes or so. Back shortly.
Need some heavy girders up there as well. Oh, I read that. Hey, Sigma B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Seems we don't have any special buildings that have been made recently. Uh, I don't think I ever set this rocket up. And we do have our speed modules. Fantastic. Uh, is there anything else I really want to send up at the same time? No, I th think we're probably good. A few uh, pumps couldn't hurt, since we need those sometimes. And some long arms. Did you play some more DSP offline? Uh, not just yet. Had a little thing I had to take care of. Uh, but yeah, once the bots have brought those over... On the way 50. Cool, that shouldn't take long at all. Oh, there it is. That's kind of a weird pattern. And then it all splits up. Uh, okay. While we're waiting for that, I guess the thing to do is... Belts. Have I got these guys requesting belts? I do not. That would probably be... Huh? Oh, I do. Oh, why haven't I seen the bots loading these before? Even with the slow bots we've got, that shouldn't be too hard. Is this in the... It's definitely in the logistic network. Okay. Back to the main bus, I think. So we've got these. Uh, coal is next. Novus Orbit Coal. Or is it Landis? Yeah, did I, I nearly said Landis Orbit. Novus Orbit Coal. That's going to be this one. Right about there. And this station. Oops. Call request. And uh, I guess it's twenty five thousand. Yeah, twenty five thousand. It's going to take some time, I think. And then... Uh, Iridium Plate. Novus Orbit... I think we already have this somewhere. Yeah, Novus Orbit Iridium Plate. I don't know that we've actually got... Oh, that's right. We already have that over here, so I don't need to touch anything for this one. It will take a while to get an automatic launch for it, though. Um, because we don't have the Vulcanite to make the ingots. You would think with all of these planets uh, sending core fragments and all of them break down into a few regular core fragments. And regular core fragments include Vulcanite. Uh, you would think we wouldn't be having trouble with Vulcanite at this stage. Uh, 
1.3k, that's not even close to triggering a delivery. This is already done though. We've got 4.5k Vulcanite in the system there. Uh, time to get our... Just need four more pumps and that delivery is finished. And I'm not going to spend any more time adding more stuff. Wait, that's 20 more, actually. Alright, this is good enough. Nervous Orbit General. Make sure there's room. Pretty sure there is. And off you go. So that's our accumulators coming in. I'll get the spooders to go deliver some of this belt. Uh, actually, I th think they're going to try and cross that path right there, aren't they? Which they can't. All right, accumulators. Um, how many do we even need? Electromag facilities, eight to go. And it's 20 accumulators each, that's four. That'll do it. I'll put the accumulators back over here in storage. And then we're looking for LDS. LDS. I haven't really left a whole lot of room for that here. That'll do. We are going to go through a ton of LDS building these things. Uh, and now it's processing units. We've already got those here. Uh, I kind of forgot to check I'm surprised we haven't had a launch of processing units yet. Did we not? I think that was a one-off launch and we didn't fully automate. Oh, no, there it is. 50k right here. Green signal when cargo full. Uh, is this called... EU. Ah, that's why. Okay. Now this orbit EU. That should trigger a launch. Yep. Um, and did I actually... Since I didn't remember this was PU, I don't think I set this correctly. That's a bit scary. Nelvis Orbit Processing Unit, launch on cargo full. I'm actually going to wait until I confirm. There we go. It won't launch while this has anything in it automatically. It's not something you can change. Uh, so where is our... Novus Orbit PU, launch on cargo full. Novus Orbit AC, 
not on cargo full. Nervous orbit easy, launch on cargo full. That's iridium plate, that's not what we're looking for. Steel. General vicinity, that would have been bad. Nervous orbit glass. We're just... I was going to say we're just lucky that there isn't a space capsule here, but... Okay, I don't think we got another 50k glass here after a launch. Um, although I could be wrong. I hope we didn't spray Nervous Orbit with random glass somewhere. I don't think that would have happened yet. You don't need processing units on the belt. Uh... I only added them when I found they were needed, I think. I stand corrected. It's fine, we're gonna put it into the rail network anyway. Totally fine. Uh, okay. Anyway, that, what reminded me of this is I need to pick up some Processing units here, and then add a few stacks there. I had a rocket of rough data cards crash into a full pad. That was not fun. Ouch. Very ouch. You know, we're launching rockets up here so often that uh, the habit I have of staying here until I get a bunch of stuff done and thinking a lot about when to go up and come back down uh, really doesn't make much sense anymore. Even if I was being stingy about rocket parts and everything, um, now would be exactly the time that I could take advantage of the fact that we've got rockets coming up here anyway. I can go back down whenever I like. Um, let's go place these myself, I guess. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to go back to Nervous to make a rough data storage substrate uh, build. And then we're going to have to deal with scrap in the rail network. Which is not going to be difficult or anything. It's Actually, it's going to be a little bit like uh, dealing with core fragment uh, processing. We just have to have multiple outputs and make sure they don't, one of them doesn't get full and block the other. It'll be a dress rehearsal for something we'll definitely need in the rail block up in orbit as well. That didn't take long to drop those off. Um, scooters. Do you still have belts? I don't remember... Was plastic needed in this? Surely it is. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. but it doesn't look like I ever connected that to anything. Been up here a while. Only eight hours of life support left. What was that sound? I see, I see. All right. Uh, what else was I doing a moment ago? So much stuff going on. 
Let's get our spiders to drop off some more rail before they go back home. That's right, I was going through all of this, uh, all of these space main bus items. This is already done. Now we need uranium-235. I get the sinking feeling I'm going to need 238 as well. I guess we can always just add another one of these. That goes into the radiation facilities, I think. Yep. Okay. Novus Orbit E235. U235. Cargo full. Novus Orbit U235. This belt here. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Fantastic. And it stacks to a hundred, doesn't it? So there should be 235 coming here quite soon. There we go. How much do we have here? Only 26k. I think we need to find new and better sources of uranium. There's 3.6 mil over there. That's a nice stopgap before we get a better infinite throughput. We need to take a bunch of territory first, though. So, military spiders. They're not still resupplying, are they? No. Off you go. Is a chunker of a base. Send them back here to reevaluate after that. Um, what's next? Should already be two thirty five coming in here. Yep, there it is. Fantastic. And what's next? Holmanite? Uh, Holmium plate, rather. Holmium plate. That's something that we've, that's been surprisingly easy to produce. Uh, we've actually got 115k right here. Chromium plate goes here. Novus orbit, chromium plate. Launch on cargo full, and then, ah, oh, wrong button. It's this one, isn't it? Call me a plate. Nice. And it stacks to 100, I believe. So 50k. Should 
Should be a train coming in quite soon. There it is. Fantastic. Next. Uh, still quite a few of these to go. Although we've running out, we're running out of actual physical cargo landing pads. Heat shielding and LDS. Nervous orbit. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, actually, I'm not surprised. I was going to say I'm surprised if I don't have a cargo landing pad for heat shielding and LDS. But since cannons are much better when you're starting out. Um, well, there's a lot less to deal with logistic-wise, anyway. We can send heat shielding and LDS up by cannon, so it does make sense we haven't got that yet. So, from scratch, uh, what am I doing? Let's set the names for these two. Heat. Yielding. It is called... Oh, bloody hell. Heat shielding. And... LDS. And I guess it would be a bit more efficient if I just name all of these at all at the same time. Oh, that's plastic. So this wasn't an extra main bus. This is, we might need another one. Okay, then. Landing pads need a bunch of concrete. I kind of, I don't think we have concrete in the rail system. I could do it in the main bus base, the original, the second base. If I want to send concrete up here. Oh no, wait, we've got it already. Cool. So I can definitely handcraft the last few uh, cargo landing pads. Just need one point something thousand steel, one thousand concrete, ten radar. Alright, I think I figured that out earlier actually. Anyway, let's do glass, LDS, and stone. Uh, it wasn't glass, it was heat shielding, wasn't it? Nervous orbit, heat shielding, cargo full, and nervous orbit, LDS. Shielding. I like the texture on that. Low density structure. So this one's heat shielding. Oops. Shielding 25k. This does stack to 50, doesn't it? Yep. Should be a train coming to pick this up quite soon. And there it is. Doesn't take too long to load something with a stack size of 50. And LDS goes here. Uh, don't forget to change the station name before the request. Yeah, 
And in SpaceX, uh, this stacks to 50 as well, so 25k in a rocket. Shouldn't be long before we have a pickup for that either. There we go. Very nice. And I think we're at the limit. Oh, the stone. One more to go before we have to do some other stuff. So I guess stone is going to have to be over here. Alphys Orbit Stone, Cargo Full, and start with this one, Stone Requester, uh, that stacks to 50, so 25k, and that should be that. I'm sure we've got an overabundance of stone. We always have. So where's the train? Any second now. There it is. Fantastic. Where do we even get the stone from? Ah, oh, right. Of course. Core fragment processing. 15k stone here, 8k here. Alright. So what's next? We've got... No copper? Oh, I never changed the name of this. Alright. Nervous Orbit Copper Plate. And then Nervous Orbit Copper Plate. That should cause a launch. This one is aimed correctly, I think. It's still missing a space capsule. There's a train out of fuel? Oh. How did this happen? Uh, let's just check this first. Fantastic. Uh, glass is already full down there, but we're waiting on capsules. Okay, I think it's time to go back to Nalvis. I'll grab all the capsules I can carry, except for one, maybe. Just so that there's always somewhere to breathe up here. Let's move our spiders around again. Until we know they're out of belt. I think they are already. Okay. And then I'm going to gather up all of the capsules we've got lying around here as well. That's not a whole lot though. More to the point, we need to speed up uh, the production. We need accumulators. I don't think we're making accumulators here, are we? No, we're only consuming them. Um, do we have batteries here already? Well, let's find out. Oh, we definitely do. Or not. Alright, let's make a request for batteries somewhere. Battery... 
one train load. Shouldn't be too long before that's on its way. I was thinking of having like a rail block for accumulators and a rail something specifically for space capsules. One, two, three, four, five, six different resources. I think we might already have accumulators in the rail block. Oh, it's seven. I didn't even see the glass. Um, that's a lot, but it is just a matter of bring it, bringing it all to one place. Did we put accumulator production into the rail system? I don't think we did, and it might be about time we do that. Um, we'll finish doing this little stopgap for now. Oh, that's something I don't want to forget before I go back to... Uh, back to Nalvis. Do we really not have batteries? We have a lot of batteries. Where is this going? Oh, it is going to the mall. Fantastic. So why is this light not yellow? That seems a little odd. I want to see which station this thing goes to. Alright, away we go. That is... where it was requested. The light just never went yellow. That's kind of weird. Alright, how many accumulators does this need? 50. I think we need some speed modules in here. We can't prod uh, this build. Where are our construction spiders? I don't actually remember. Oh, yes I do. I will have them finish that little part of rail before they get there. Don't need this. Nice. And then... Oh, we need to fuel up that train as well. Where was it going? To the Vulcanite Requester, but your cargo is empty. That's really odd. Um, okay, we need a module inserter. Assembly machine with speeds, fantastic. And I don't think we've got the speed modules here, that's why we need the spiders. Research complete, nice. And probably... I was going to say probably the inserters can't keep up now, but that's not the case this time. All right, so 31 of these per minute means less than two minutes for a space capsule. I wonder if that's enough. It's probably enough to keep up with all of the rockets in the long run. If not, we can always change it. Uh, let's see, what's next? 
booters, keep going until you have no belt. And then... Uh, yeah, I do have a couple of reasons I need to go back to Nalvis. I would like to remember to make two electric boilers before I do, though. Uh, pipe. And then another hundred copper. And we just need a pair of them. Here it is. And I think I'll also craft the rest of the... Um, where am I going? Landing pads before I go. So we need one, two, three... Four, five, six, actually. And they take 20 seconds each. That's actually kind of lengthy. Alright. 1,000 steel. One thousand concrete. Uh, and a bit more steel. I've already got a bit more steel. Just take all of that and half of that. Hey, Sifika. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream today? Factorio seems good. Uh, so that's half of them. All concrete, please. Two, three, four. A Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm kind of losing count of how many of these I need. Oh, I've run out of radars. Let's grab some circuits. Two, really. Uh, it seems like stone brick is the bottleneck right now. And iron plate. I forgot how much it takes to craft radars. Okay, maybe I'll do the rest of that next time I come back. Uh, we do have five cargo landing pads. We actually just need one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're really close. Uh, so I just need to make a couple more radars to get this done. Novice Orbit. Pole. Novice Orbit Ice. And where are we? A couple more of these. So this is going to be plastic. We did end up using the plastic. Yes, okay, cool. That was orbit plastic. 
Oh, and we are ordering concrete. Fantastic. Concrete. And is this spice? Elvis, Orbit, Vite, Spice. And now's the part where I need just a little bit more before I can handcraft the last uh, cargo landing pad. We need more copper, apparently. And more iron. What the hell? Okay. So once that's done... Uh, where was that concrete one? Here it is. Once that's done, we'll head back to Narvis. Get that uh, train that somehow ran out of fuel fixed up. That's really concerning, actually. I mean, we've got them all... We've got them all automatically refueled with both nuclear fuel and solid rocket fuel as a backup. No path. Why not? Oh, I remember this. Yeah, we're going to have to correct that. Do they have a path to this one? I don't think so. We had to do something special on this side to make this one work, right? That doesn't look good. Alright, one more thing to do when I actually physically go down there. Uh, we're almost done here. Fantastic. So this one's going to be extract. Where are our construction spiders? Oh, and how how is our uh, space capsule production going? I'm not seeing solar panels. Where's the requester? No, we do have solar panels. That's weird. Oh, it's just loading things in an arbitrary order. This needs to be a stack and solder. Yeah, I don't think... Uh... This is one per minute, or a bit faster than that. Okay, it does less than two minutes for each one of these with the accumulators. But I think the real issue is the inserter keeping up, maybe? Maybe not now that we gave it a stack inserter. Yeah, no, that seems fine. Actually, it's still going while this is still crafting. Yeah, one stack inserter can't keep up with this. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Uh, Nervous Orbit... Vite... Was it Extract? Extract. Fantastic. And let's go grab some stuff before we go.
What else? Oh, probably want to have a quick look over here before I get going. Uh, what are we... Hey, there's actually only four types of things we're still building here. Nice. Uh, we need copper cable, which is easily remedied. Um, that's actually the only thing we're stuck on with this. I can't remember what else I wanted to do up here right before I go. I don't really think there is anything. Everything's pretty much in order for now. Or at least in order enough. Spiders still haven't run out of belts. Oh, yes they have. I'll let the butts catch up and then... Off we go. Back to resupply. That's right, I was going to bring some capsules, but that really doesn't matter. Alright, I think we're off. And then... Oh. Suddenly get teleported back onto Nelvis. Chuck these into the logistic network, so they can get thrown in the rail network. Uh, I need to personally go help that train. There's no way to do that remotely. I'm very curious as to how we got exactly one train running out of fuel. Um, I would like to follow it back to the depot it was returning to, though I don't know how helpful that'll necessarily be in figuring this out. Alright, let's hop in and off you go. It's actually... It's actually empty on both ends at the same time. That seems improbable, even though there was just a, some fumes at the other end. So you were heading to... Wait, what? Why were you heading to Vulcanite Requester with nothing in? I think it was probably because I interrupted it or something. Or maybe running out of fuel. Messed it up. And I think it just changed which depot it was going to. So... If there's a sp what? Wait, what? What? Oh! I think we figured it out. There's no inactivity on this one for the at the depot. Must have taken a while to run out. All right, what's your issue? No path to this one. Okay. Now, how does it work that you get in here? Let's go have a look. And I definitely could use more jetpack. Uh, okay, so... 
despite looking like it's not working, um, the train can actually come in this way. I wonder what the flashing is about. Is it, it's probably because there isn't a thing on this side. Oh, I see. That has to be separated. And this one... We just literally can't put anything there. Okay, what about over here? This one's flashing because we shouldn't be able to put a signal there. Oh, there's still a RoboPod here. Uh, let's remove it, shall we? And train can go this way. Still says no path. But it does have a path. Oh, you're trying to go to this one. Never mind. Good. And that can get disconnected too. Although, oh, that's all connected actually, that's fine. How many bots do we have here? Not that many. It's kind of weird. Okay, let's ride the spider to the next destination, bring my speedy spider with me, and I think we just need to do this. And this. It shouldn't matter... too much if the train can't get onto the roundabout counterclockwise from that direction specifically. So that should be fine. Speedy Spooter is on its way. Train should be coming in quite soon. And this one's still stuck. As soon as the spiders fix that, it should be in motion. There we go. Now, while we're here, uh, I think I would like to rethink how we do this... Uh, any size train can pick up from here thing. Instead of limiting the belt input based on the number of cargo wagons and keeping this up here, I think we can do a lot better than that. So we're just gonna balanced load all of this. I might just squeeze that in here because it's already covered by the substations. Each divided by negative 24 gives us the negative average. And 
uh, everything less than or equal to zero means less than or equal to average because we're getting a positive signal from the chest for what's in the individual chest. Now, forget about what's in these chests. And I think we'll just add a decider combinator. Solid rocket fuel. Oh, that's just for the display. All right, we'll move this one up here. Decider combinator goes here. And if solid rocket fuel is greater than or equal to 160 stacks, that is a four cargo wagon train. Output solid rocket fuel input count. And that's going to need to change. So this is the amount we actually have. Good. And we only pass that to LTN if we've got enough for a long train. And we use a balanced loader. Simple as that. Can't believe I had that much difficulty figuring this out before. It's no different than, well, it is different, but like, in some ways it's no different from having the, uh, the provide threshold, provide stack threshold of, um, 160, except that a small train can come and collect this. The small train won't come until, um, until there's enough for a long train, which will mean this is has enough for a cargo wagon. And we'll bump this up just a little bit to be extra safe. And we just have to patch this three more times. Disconnect this one. Whoops. Spooters. Come on down. This shouldn't be so full that we can't empty it out. And we can copy paste this part. Should be pretty straightforward. The inserters aren't keeping up, but normally there wouldn't be this much input coming in. Oh, they actually are keeping up. Sort of. I mean, yeah, they are. Just a little longer. That'll do. And I'll start working on the patch up here as well.
All right, are we done down here? Yes, good. Fast spider, stay with me. Construction spooters. Go patch that. It's a bit late now, but I might have to make... Well, I'll definitely do it in space. Um, I might have to make it universal that when we have a pickup station, we have that one extra decider combinator uh, that makes sure LTN doesn't think there's anything here until we can fill a long train. And then we can have any size train we like um, pick something up. Didn't realize those would be in the robo networks. I guess I could have just had the bots tidy this up, especially while that uh, substation, sorry, robo port was still there. Actually, oh, I was just about to leave that robopot there until I deal with this. Whoops. Uh, okay, I guess... I'll put a robopot here. Don't need to keep the spiders hanging around. Wait, where are they? And we'll check on this a little bit later. So we don't have to wait for it. Uh, let's go place some of these while we're here. Oh, now it's empty. That didn't take very long at all, actually. And... We're done. If I remove this before the bots get over there, does that mess anything up? Well... Certainly not if a bot doesn't pick it up first. Nice. Calculated timing. Okay. So we need a uh, Vulcanite to be much faster, I think. Or at least significantly faster, if it's ever going to get to this station. Let's see. We're at only 3.2k now. Oh, I already did that? Really? Okay, let's head back. And I think... How many flat solars do we have? Zero? Okay. Uh, I think just adding a few more... Uh, more mining drills here. We do have a massive overabundance of power. As long as we do a little bit of power management we can handle having a lot more coal mining drills. So... I 
actually just want to see how quickly this builds. I think it's fast enough to support at least two more of these. If not more. We could make this a stack inserter. Oh, it only didn't load that because these were full. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about that. Okay, so I'm thinking four core mining drills. That'll double... Uh, double the output of this to 12 per second. And we may as well leave behind a construction spooter. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't put the stuff in the spooter. There we go. I'll just keep it in my inventory for now. Oh, we do have some flat solar panels here. I don't think we need any more, though, for now, on Mariel. Uh, considering we've got, like, about 600 megawatts to spare. Significantly more than that, arguably, if we power manage the core mining drills, which we can very easily. Uh, I don't think I need to be carrying 25 cargo landing pads, as a matter of course. Pulverizers, I'll drop that down to 5 for now. Where's the request? Oh, okay. Didn't realize. That's weird. Why do we not have more big miners? On the way, in storage, zero. We haven't needed to place more miners in a long time. We're missing electric mining drill. We're missing iron gear wheel. Oh. This just doesn't have... That's weird. I wonder when that got messed up. Okay, iron gear wheel and small electric motor. I'm rather confused by that because we did mass produce these. I wonder when I changed this by accident. Gears are on the way. Here they come. Alright, cool. So that's working. Uh, what else? I want to take... Uh, I'll take a lot of coal mining drills so I don't have to remember to take any at some point in the future. So it follows a square rule. One squared, two squared, three squared, four squared. If you want to keep adding the equivalent of one core mining drill. Let's take seven... Wait, that's not... Let's take eight. Also... Where are the core mining drills? This is producing them right now. Oh, because we weren't making electric mining drills. I wonder when that happened. Well, we're actually going to have to wait a little bit. Um, 
can't prod this. Luckily, we do have a million burner mining drills to consume from here. Uh, why don't we bump you up to 100? And... Is there anything else I want to make sure I take to Mariel? Don't think so. Cannons I'm carrying all the time now. Uh, we've got the core mining drills queued up. I don't have room for a beacon here. I suppose I could remove this for a moment. Beacon. Copy paste. Are my bots asleep? Oh, never mind. Uh, and now the bottleneck is definitely, definitely the electric mining drills. Hmm, I don't suppose I can put a long arm... no. Alright, so we've got... Five of these... Uh, sorry, six of these to go. What should we do in the meantime? Let's check on the orbital base. Spooters look like they are resupplied. And let's park them somewhere. Oops. Where they're going to build stuff. How's our automatic building of many things coming? We've moved on to uh, astrome astrometrics facilities. Nice. 19 of those to go. And then we're on to computers and or telescopes. And even if the bots are a bit slow bringing the circuits, all of that is going to go smoothly until the next thing. You know, now that I've built uh, an automatic crafting system here like this, uh, it's definitely something I want to take advantage of in future. Why don't we spend a few minutes making a blueprint? I think it should be able to be pretty small. So... We need a memory cell. Uh, decide a combinator is better. Just because you can make it conditional if you want. We're just going to say anything greater than zero. That's pretty much unconditional. Uh, the next step is... where is it? Uh, we need to pulse in stuff that we want built. And we're going to subtract... We're going to multiply by negative one when we take an output from there. Um, this may not be strictly necessary, but decide a combinator, anything, output anything, uh, is going to pick just one signal from all of these. We need a uh, overflow chest that is a active provider. So the bots can get rid of that stuff. And... The real challenge that I ran into, that I haven't actually figured out a solution for here, is if you're crafting enough different types of items, um, you're going to end up with this chest overflowing. And because you can't set requests 
and read contents at the same time, uh, that tends to be a bit of a problem. We could always have something like we do with the rocket loading system, where it goes from a requester into a active provider chest, and then straight into the machine, but with the way crafting machines work as opposed to dumping it into a rocket, stuff's just going to get taken away all the time. We could have a timer system that just periodically empties the chest, I'm not exactly a fan of that, but it would work. Um, but so far what we've been getting away with here is just... Oh. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, limiting... Uh, limiting the number of items of each type in that gets requested into the requester chest to... I started with a hundred, but some things have significantly smaller stack sizes. You could set it as low as 10, and you're probably not going to end up needing 48 different inputs. Probably. But... That's obviously going to slow things down. Not that a automatic craft everything you need kind of system is going to be uh, all about speed, but we don't want it to be too slow. And I'm thinking instead of a memory cell, um, we could read the logistic network and have like probably a constant combinator with negative numbers or something. So we have a set target for a bunch of different uh, things we can craft. You know, if this works out pretty well, um, all of this bot spam could become something very small and neat and tidy, actually. Um, so let's say, how many arithmetic combinators are we making here? Our target is 2,000. That's more than I was expecting. Let's do a uh, green wire. Our target is 200. We'll bump this up to 400. And... Uh, let's see. I want to get, for green wire and whatever other things I'm going to whitelist, I want to pass those signals through only. Uh, I'm not really sure how to do that on a really big scale. Like, what we've been doing when we've got some unwanted signals uh, that come from LTN is we've got negative a million for those signals. And then we pass that in from the side, and from somewhere else we get all the signals, and then each has to be greater than zero to be passed through this decider combinator. But if we've got an unlimited number of arbitrary signals that we don't want, and that gets a bit tricky. I suppose, okay, this is definitely not the final product that I want to end up with, but one way you could do this is a decider combinator for each thing that you want this to craft. Uh, 
and just do it like that. If it's less than the target output, well, it could be input count or one, um, and then pass that to the crafting combinator. If it's less than 200, yeah, there you go. So to make this a lot more elegant and not require an potentially infinite uh, n number of combinators, how could we have a whitelist of things that we want to craft? Hmm. I want to only pass through the green wire signal from here. Let's say the green wire and the red wire signal. I don't know. I know how to check if it if a bunch of whitelisted signals are equal to something other than zero. Hold on. Okay, so that thing that we do with uh, that thing that we do with the signal transmitters. I'm check. I know how to check things. Check, check. So we have a bunch of stuff that we want. And if there's any of that in the chest, then these combined signals will not be equal to one. We've got one copper, one explosive, one heat shield, etc. Each thing equal to one output that. So if we've got something here, um, then that's not going to go through. We could maybe figure out how to do this whereby we have a different arbitrary limit. We'd have to have the same limit for each item, but other than that... Uh... So I want this, but I want to offset it. I don't think that's going to work, because this has to be equal. For each thing that's equal to one... If you pass a crafting combinator something like coal, does that just not do a recipe? Okay. What if you pass it uh, something like coal and also something that can be a recipe? Where am I looking? It doesn't have keep crafting to until zero set. But it still kinds of kind of holds on to the first thing it was given. And coal would prevent it from having a recipe set. How many things, how many things that we can get as a signal here are not craftable? That would have to include things that can't be crafted by an assembly machine. 
So we'd, ha we'd have to make a blacklist of everything that can't be crafted in an assembly machine. And then you could just have some arbitrary minimum that's going to apply to every single item. Hmm. I don't know. Let's have a look back at what we built here real quick. Well, this isn't what we have to figure out here. We have to figure out how to read the logistic network and decide what we need to craft without like a single combinator for each resource. That might be really tricky. I might have to... Might have to sleep on that, to be honest. All right, we've got our eight core mining drills. Uh, we've got a Spidertron. We can give it some robots. Anything else I want to take to Mariel? Don't really think so. All I want to do is patch it so that we've got more... Uh, more core mining happening. There's really... Really not a whole lot I want to take there right now. It's kind of a shame I have to use a rocket for this. Oh, uh, we might want to take enough stuff to come back. That might be a good idea. Currently, I think I removed the rocket fuel from the whitelist. Which is probably a little bit silly. If we don't see solid rocket fuel landing in here in a few seconds... Okay, I guess I got rid of the cannon that was set up to do that. Which seems a bit silly in hindsight. Um, I think it's this one, actually. Yeah, okay. Mariel DC chest. This should say solid rocket fuel greater than zero. Okay, cool. So... If we go to Mariel right now, it's gonna take a little while. Or we can come back. We need to craft... This bar needs to get to the end of here about a thousand times. So, uh, about 16 minutes. Uh, that was assuming that the cannons kept that fed at full speed. Where are we going? I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Mariel. Where's our solid rocket fuel? I think the bots are taking their sweet time delivering it. Oh, it would probably help if we had a request. A solid rocket fuel. That'd probably do it. Also, I really don't need these in my inventory. Or these for that matter. Alright, so our target here is going to be Mariel landing pad. It's going to need a bit more fuel. It's only bottlenecked by the pipes bringing it in though. Wait, why does this look so empty? That's weird. It didn't all drain in already, did it? No. 
Alright. Uh, I think while we wait for that, there's a few of these I haven't set up properly yet. I did set them up on the orbital side of things. I don't think... I think stone was the last one of these we set up. On the novice end. Yep, there it is. So stone, launch on cargo full, Navis orbit stone, perfect. I'm surprised we don't still, we, we still don't have a capsule here. Uh, this is going to be Navis orbit plastic. Let's add a icon for that. And just to double check. Wait, what? It's this one, isn't it? Plastic requester. Uh, it stacks to a hundred now, doesn't it? So fifty k. Plastic, and it should be coming pretty soon. Any second now. There we go. Next is... What is next? Uh, concrete, and then Vitae, Spice, Extract. Concrete, Spice, Extract. Let's uh, just label these first. And then I won't have to try too hard to remember the order. Wait, we've already got spice and extract. It's up here. Novus Orbit Vitae Spice. Novus Orbit Vitae Extract. Fantastic. Hey, the West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think you set up the wrong train station. Check the belts again. Okay. Uh, was that for plastic? Nervous orbit plastic. Belt goes here. Nice and slow. Nope, we're good. And this one's going to be concrete, I believe. Wait, do we even have uh, concrete in the rail system? I don't think we do. Something to correct. Let's just check that lines up first. Yes, good. Novus Orbit Concrete. Launch on cargo full. And there were two more that I want to do. I don't think coal and ice are in the rail system. There's like a shared coal and ice thing. We're using cannons, that's right. Okay. Wait, we already did coal. That's weird. Why did I do coal and then not ice? Nervous Orbit. Oh. You'll win jackpot next time. Messed up the sides, no worries. Yeah, it's a little bit counterintuitive looking. I think. You have cold for the fluids and coal on the bus. Yeah, but I thought... So, like... This one's coal and ice, which is an idea we abandoned a while ago. Um, because the auto-launch rockets will only go when the landing pad is empty. Not to mention, even if that weren't the case, it's very complicated. Trying to load a full rocket with the right ratio, adjusting for how much has been consumed. Um... 
Did we need coal on this belt or something? No, that's on the cannons. I thought this was the first one that I made that was specifically coal or specifically ice, but it said there was two coal. Is it on the main bus? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, so the next one is ice. Ice, ice, ice. Water, ice. Navis orbit, ice. Launch on cargo full. This goes here. Whoops. Uh, this one. Water, ice. And ice pickup. I think it stacks to a hundred, right? So fifty thousand. I meant that you have coal on the big science bus and coal to the far left. Yes. So launch on full needs the pad to be empty. Good to know. Yeah, definitely. Um, it was sort of a little disappointing given what I was trying to do with the cargo rocket system automation originally, but it really does make it a bit easier. It means you don't need a, a pair of uh, transmitters and receivers for every cargo rocket silo as well. Okay, uh, I haven't actually put ice production in the rail network. Um, this is all we've ever needed, but this is obviously not in the rail network. There's no ice. There's no sulfuric acid. Okay. And I've, oh, there we go. I thought this was just a corner going to somewhere else. Uh, but yeah. I don't think we're going to have to do a whole rail block to support ice production somehow. But it is something I need to do. But first, let's go to Marielle. And hope I didn't forget anything. And away we go. Did you bring a spider? It's in my inventory, yes. Uh, I, I figured out what I forgot. I meant to make more cargo rocket sections. Uh, okay. What are they made of? Heat shielding LDS we could send by cannon. The rest is a bit of a pain. I'm a little embarrassed about that one because I actually thought of it a few minutes ago as well. Um, I could set up a production chain to make these things here. That's a pretty big pain in the butt. Stone, steel, and sulfur. <laughs> I agree. Look at that. We need stone, glass, iron, steel, copper, plastic, sulfur, some blue circuits, which I've got handy. Well, not that many, actually. And batteries. I think... I think it would be better if we just send another cargo rocket. Also, it's taking a lot longer than I expected 
uh, for this to get made. That'll probably help. Okay. I don't have some forgotten cargo rocket sections lying around, surely. On the way 42. Cargo rocket section packed. Don't think we have any of those. Nope. Well, let's fix this before we get around to that. I'll tentatively say that we're going to We're just going to send this rocket with uh, cargo rocket sections. Where did our capsule go? There it is. Cargo rocket sections. So we've got 42, we need um, 58. As long as we're sending a rocket to accomplish this, um, I feel like there's no harm in sending extra. So the packed ones are worth five, right? Yeah. So 20 is a full launch. I kind of feel like getting rid of all this stone. Uh, anyway. I don't think without adding more solar we can support nine uh, core mining drills. Don't tell me I didn't bring belt. Oh no. Okay. Okay, um, also I'm slowing this thing down by not powering it, uh, the rest of them. Let's copy these. Like... So... We should actually only need four of them. If we're going to be doubling production. Just need that to reach over there. Did bring an accumulator at least, yes, good. Alright, can we stop? Wait, 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 wait. Don't forget to copy paste the settings. Okay, that's already done. Get rid of those for now. Belt goes this way. It's only red belt, I can definitely uh, make some. Accumulator, I'm gonna put here. I can make 24 red belt. I need to do the calculation on how much belt we need because maybe I wanna use yellow. As weird as that sounds. Put the rest of these in here. Uh, 
Hold on, let's power them up. So our rate is going to be 12 per second on one side of the belt. We definitely need red belt. Okay. We're going to need at least one underground. Actually, maybe not. Oh, well, I just made it anyway. So let's put the substation, not the substation, let's put the accumulator here. Maybe I'll have to send some iron and belt and stuff. In fact, I should just do that anyway. Uh, let's go for like a couple of hundred of each. So this never happens again. All right. Anything else? We're still waiting on a space capsule. Where are we making space capsules over here? I honestly have no memory of where we are manufacturing space capsules in the old main bus base. Oh, here it is. And we're missing rocket control units. They normally come along this belt. Oh. That doesn't look good. Oh. Hmm. That reminds me, um, we are producing batteries in the rail system, but I remember setting a request for batteries and not seeing it ever picked up. Well, there's a uh, hundred thousand here. So that can't be too bad. We should probably make a request for batteries. Uh, they stacked to 200, so 32k. Not 320k. Should be plenty of room. Let's see if that gets some batteries brought into the system. Thirty two K Request Stack Threshold one sixty. Oh, there it is. Fantastic. And here I was worried that batteries weren't happening. Oh that's right, I think when I was looking for them, it was one train was already sending batteries somewhere else. Hey, I am Freaky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Perfect. You cannot get rid of them. Uh, get rid of what? Right, so what we're going to do here... I thought I made some red undergrounds. Where did they go? Did I... Did I not? Oh, here they are. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. We've got room for substations all the way down like this. So that should be fine. And we're going to say... You're kidding. Alright, I guess we'll connect it like that. No condition on this part of the belt. 
this one accumulator charge has to be greater than 99%. And be that. I was going to say here, but no. And here. And then this goes here. How do I rotate? Like that. And then we just need some substations. Does that reach? Yeah, it does. Okay. I think I would prefer to... Connect this to here. What? Where is this going? Oh. Uh, okay. For some reason, I thought Nervous DC Rail Receiver number one. Yeah, no, that should connect to these ones, which means like that. And then this has to still connect to that chest. bring that any closer. Can we just add a medium pole, I suppose? There we go. So this is everything that's in our local delivery cannon chests, and this is receiving uh, what the rail system on Nalvis is asking for. And if it's not asking for uh, Vulcanite core fragments, then we're not going to pick stuff up off of this belt. And if our accumulator charge drops below 100%, we're going to turn off the core mining drills. Good day, mate. Uh, Google if you think I actually use scented oils or candles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Whoa, that's... That's freaky looking. Let's keep it that way. And... I actually do have some belt here. Oh, fantastic. Nice. We're still gonna have to have... Well, I think I will just still send some belt and stuff over this way. Uh, more importantly, we need the uh, packed cargo rocket sections so we can get home. I am a little bit concerned about our production of uh, rocket control units. That's because of batteries. We've brought batteries back into the base. That's looking good. Or better, at least. Oh, saturated belt. Fantastic. So, rocket control units should be catching up without much issue. Do we really need a lane balancer for rocket control units? I guess at some point they must have been consuming from one side of the belt and there were, half of these were active and we were slowly running out of them or something. But as it is right now, it's obviously too slow to matter.
Paco 88 EB. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And away goes another vanilla rocket. Okay. So that is 12 core fragments per second. Uh, assuming this thing can keep up. So it looks like it can go 0.32 per second consistently. We need 50 core fragments per delivery cannon capsule. 12 per second is 4.17 seconds. Uh, and this is a little bit slower than 3 per second. Cool. So that can definitely support that. Nice. And all that's left is to go home. Which is 53 cargo rocket sections and nothing else. Uh, this thing is still getting loaded. I'm beginning to wonder if I want to wait for those belts, actually. We'll let the belts load because just in case there's something else we need to do here, uh, I'd like to be able to have the spider do it. Oh. Uh, we don't need more than 50 logistic bots in the robo network. They'll just crash. Where is our RoboPort here? I don't see it. Oh. Wait, no. Oh, it's right in the mid. I fell for that before. How embarrassing. I'll leave these bots here. And... You go here. As for the rest of it... No reason to worry about taking it back to Narvis. Why do we have centrif- Oh, right. That's fine. I kind of feel like, well, I could definitely have the spider do this, but I kind of feel like setting up a mine for Vulcanite and taking some back with me. Let's go speed and productivity without the pipes. That spacing is a little bit unfortunate. I take it back very unfortunate. Oh, where did that blueprint go? Right. Take those, and I think the I've got the beacons. How close to spaceships? Uh, ten minutes. 
where? Wait, what? I've got core fragments on me for some reason. Where did my miners that I literally just picked up go? I already discovered the whole universe? Nice. Wait, they're right here. Oh, I have no bots, that's why. A derp. May I borrow these for a moment, please? Bot-based mining? Uh, no, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna belt it into the cargo rocket silo. Didn't see the belts, yeah. Craftily hidden. Hmm, am I missing something? Is it possible to... Let me find another... Big one of these. I'm wondering if... One can beacon six of these at a time. Those are overlapping. Yeah. Definitely. And we could push them a bit further apart, I guess. You get plenty of speed out of them anyway. I might have to update my mine blueprints. Anyway, um, that is everything but a few productivity modules. Uh, does this one have to be here? Nope. What about you? Don't tell me we're going to be just a few prods short of doing this properly. Let's just remove these ones. And belt. I've only got undergrounds. Is that rocket loaded yet? Almost, kind of. I may have created a few too many logistic robot jobs lately. Might just go ahead and remove the requests from this for now. Uh, we could just chuck it all in chests. In the meantime. How much power is this going to use? Quite a bit, I imagine. Of course, I throw away my power poles as well. Alright, what's the rate from all of this? Just under one blue belt. Why is it taking so long to load this stuff? Uh, we're almost done. It's just splitters remaining, I think. Well, and the cargo rocket sections. That's kind of important. Okay. There's only one thing to do. Have the bots pick it up. Oh, 
Or I could pick it up myself. Add some more RoboPorts. And unfortunately, we can't reach all of these at once. That's actually a really good fit, though. And then... Connect goes here. That's already a few stacks. I don't think our 50 logistic bots are going to keep up with this very well. But that's okay. We might just occasionally send a rocket back to Nalvis full of Vulcanite. 9.3 million, that's not too bad. Actually, I mean, I'm obviously going to set it up with belts by the time this comes back over. In that case, I suppose we could... Bring more cargo rocket sections. So we'll be able to send a few rockets back. You don't have power to the lower row of bacons. Uh, this is true. Unfortunately. And I guess I don't need the medium power poles. Let's go fix that. This is actually not as fast as I thought it would be. Give to me all of the Vulcanite. Okay, yeah, that's actually pretty quick. I think we're going to have a full rocket before we go back. That will hopefully be a nice shot in the arm for uh, our Vulcanite block supply. Seven point eight K out of twenty five. We're not taking anything else back, are we? I don't think so. Also, uh Migoth. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are we loading now? Cargo rocket sections packed. Fantastic. So Apart from fueling up, we're almost there. For some reason we've run out of fuel. Why is there no solid rocket fuel here? Because there's no light oil here. Yikes. Okay. Uh, here's something else we're going to pull from the rail network. Solid rocket fuel. And I guess we'll just put it on this side again. Uh, 
just about to start the space section myself, but it looks like quite the nice rocket setup. Thank you. You mean the automatic loading system here? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, literally, all I have to do is make a list of stuff that I want in this rocket, and it'll get sorted out. Uh, so, there should be... Ooh. I was going to say there should be solid rocket fuel coming here by now, but... Solid rocket fuel has been in high demand lately. What have we got here? Less than 500. Less than 500. 1k? And 1.6k. Okay, there should be... Uh, once it goes a bit higher, 1.7k, just so it's... We know it's going to be okay with the balance loading. Um, actually... Yeah, no, I definitely want to do that. 1.7k may be overkill, uh, to be sure of that, but it's no big deal. But yeah, there should be a train coming to pick up the solid rocket fuel quite soon. Um, actually, maybe before that happens, I should probably bump up the priority on this thing very, very high. And hopefully I'm not too late. Train is coming. Oh, it's here already. I think I was too late unless it just happened to... Yeah, it's going somewhere else. Rip. There should be another one ready quite soon, though. Not these two. That's slower than I thought. What about this one? 1.1k... How much light oil do we have here? Quite a lot. Using LLT? Not sure what LLT is. Just, uh, or whatever the train mod is. Oh, LTN. Yes, that's correct. Alright, so... Maybe I could have done better setting up the... It's just bottlenecking on the light oil. Even though we've got, like, thousands and thousands of it. 221,000 light oil here, but... The closer you get to... This, uh, the less there is. I suppose... no, I don't. I was going to say I suppose we could have the light oil come in from this side as well. But I really don't think there's any room to make that happen in the rail block. Unless we have the undergrounds go where this belt is. But I don't really think that is necessarily worth the effort. Pump needed? We do have a pump. Um, and there's a pump down here as well to make sure when there's 100k light oil available and a train is scheduled to pick it up, it doesn't end up being less than that. Uh, so are we loaded? We are. We just don't have the fuel. Okay. Um, I probably should have hijacked that train that was heading somewhere else. I've got 1.4k rocket fuel in here as well. How close are we? 1.3k is not so bad, it's not good. The rest are way behind. Still only 493 there. Yeah, these two are hardly moving. It's not enough crude anymore. So we've definitely got enough um, 
oil production blocks at this point. We could go find some more crude. Um, I think there's... Yeah, here's a big patch of crude oil that's not been tapped. That's within our walls still. All right, where are our construction spiders? Here we go. And we're going to need some pump jacks. Uh, not sure where... I think it's going to be here that we're going to run a pipe through. Closest thing you can get to a neat build on an oil patch. So it's going to look something like this. Get some underground pipes. A mine mousecraft. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oil always looks a bit tacky. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's actually as far as that reaches. This goes here. Actually, it's only one tile closer. Whatever, that's fine. This one is already done. Where are our spiders? Are they stuck? Nope, they're just slow. Just barely reaching through there. And this is obviously going to need to be rotated. Uh, I feel like this might be a bit better. And same thing over here. That'll have to do. A couple more of these. And these two. Hmm. Of course, that wouldn't line up very well. How about this? You're just in time. Thank you, Spooters. I don't like doing these patches, so now I use a well planner. So I don't have to think about it. Fair enough. Okay, then. Uh, next is... I would prefer if we can keep this in line with the rail blocks that we're going to have. Oh. Poor artillery turret. What? No, stop. Picket dollies to the rescue. Actually, can I? No, not really. We'll tidy that up at a future date. Cannot be stretched any longer. Rip. Okay. We can always move this, I guess. Uh, let's see. Do I have a blueprint for fluid pickup? I do. Fantastic. Let's 
do it like that. Don't tell me they don't have solar panels on them. Uh, tell you what, why don't you grab some? Or is it in the robo network and these other bots are trying to supply it? Uh, okay, that's weird. Let's get him to focus on the tracks for now. Just add this here. Minor detail, we're also going to need power. Oh, that's a good fit. Except... So close. And then... I do not understand why our spooters wouldn't place these solar panels that they just picked up. Can you sit still for a moment, please? Which one of them picked up the solar panels? Uh, wait. Do they not have... They've got a request for zero solar panels. Amazing. The solar panels must have gone into their um, trash slots. Derp. I'll leave that for now. Yellow. There we go. Now, steal some solar panels, please. There we go. Fantastic. Right, so once we've got 100k, let's limit this to one train, actually. Actually, considering we can only fit two train loads of stuff here. I don't think that's a problem. Oh, and you're in the wrong spot. Is that going to reach? It is not. Um, that's a little bit sad. Oh, that'll do. I almost. That'll almost do. All right, once we've got 100k crude oil here, there should be a train coming. To pick it up. Uh, one little improvement we could make. Oh, we've already done it. 37k. All right, are there any more oil patches we haven't taken advantage of? That one is outside the wall. I thought there was one over here somewhere, but I'm probably thinking of... Oh, I was going to say I'm probably thinking of coal, but yes, yes there is. All right, let's get this one as well. And... Uh, 
one sec. How are we doing back on Mariel? It's, it's actually half loaded. Well, almost half loaded already. Not that bot throughput is going to be terribly high. We can give it a hand quite easily. What? Where am I going? Nineteen K, considering the max is twenty-five. I don't think it'll be long before it's full. By the time we're able to leave, it's gonna be full. Easily. Fantastic. Alright, let's just let's check on Nervous again. Those spiders are rather slow. Where's the middle? We could do a vertical one. Might be a bit cleaner. Especially the way these line up. I can't do this via the map, right? No. There we go. And pipe goes somewhere between these ones. And over here. That's a bit short for an underground. Or is it? That's a little disappointing. That's not too bad. And then we'll give it a little trim. Nice. Uh, and I shouldn't really use this rail to connect it. Um, we could remove this old thing. That rail goes literally nowhere. So let's tidy that up. That's pretty convenient. Let's grab our blueprint again. Uh, I think it's going to be on the left side. Like so. Spooters, I don't think, have any uh, power on them at the moment. I guess they could cannibalize it from here. Let's go... Substation goes here and here. May as well just connect it to this power network, I suppose. Almost done. And 
isn't it? Oh, that's already been built. Fantastic. Let's get the bots in this robo network to clear this stuff since we're not using it anymore. And we're going to need a signal on that side. Uh, where's our spooder? There you are. Oh, and minor detail, we need to connect these pipes. I could put it here. Like so. Let's bring you back this way for a moment. I don't suppose we got rocket fuel delivered up here yet. Oh, no. Oh, we did. Fantastic. So this thing is probably fueled by now. Not even close. Not even a little bit. Um, rocket fuel is going to be in the just. This should be a buffer chest. So we need rocket fuel to come in here. Uh, 480. And that'll get delivered so that we can make liquid rocket fuel. Right, so I think all we need to do now is finish this bit of rail. Uh, there should have already been a pickup or two from here. We've got 40k. I think it was at 37 before, so... Okay, some speed modules on these things would be helpful as well. Whoops. Uh, let's do that. Pump check. Speed. And we could beacon it as well, I suppose. But right now, let's just get it working. Fantastic. And, oh, that's important. We need that rail signal to say that trains are allowed to come this way. They're allowed to go this way into this intersection. A regular signal means they're allowed to stop in the next sector. And here is yet another oil patch that we haven't tapped yet. How about that? I knew there would be one or two, but three of them in this area alone is a little bit surprising. Uh, meanwhile, we are very definitely full on Vulcanite here. Uh, why don't we go... 2400 vulcanite goes here so it can start loading it as soon as possible next time or as quickly as possible rather already at 60k crude oil over there and this one's at 89k now Let's add some beacons to this one. Uh, 
Uh, I guess it would be easier to do it this way. That's very convenient. That's not what I was looking for. Let's uh, change that up a bit. And we can copy paste this. That's almost super convenient. Frustratingly close. We could do these three, these two. I want to get two or three of them under a beacon to bother with it. Right, and then over to the other oil field. Two pump jacks not connected. Uh, let's see. I think this one's just struggling because the output is full. Oh, this one. And this one. True. Thank you. And that makes three, actually. I'll bring the spiders back. Actually, they haven't gone far. One of those jacks aren't connected. Uh, between the two of you, you are correct. There were three of them. Uh, right. Fourth planet, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And there's our crude oil. Fantastic. Uh, solid rocket fuel is well and truly in this chest. We should probably bacon this up. Because it's no longer going to work on just that ratio. And that's going to give us our liquid fuel so we can escape and yeah just a few more things to sort out here and then we can finally get back home uh benny b thank you very much for the sub much appreciated four months i love it uh really appreciate the continued support thank you is afk for some time what was problem with trains refueling uh that train somehow had its five second inactivity removed i must have misclicked at some point it had its five seconds of inactivity at the depot stop removed so when it went back to the depot instead of going there stopping and ltn resetting the schedule it would just fly through the station and it would it had been driving round and round in circles for a long time. Uh, cool band name. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, anyway, that is just about going to wrap it up for today, I think. Uh, let's see who else is streaming Factorio for now. And... I need to remember to send the... Oh! No, I don't. We got that built already. Nice. We're going to need faster inserters here. Glad that it was minor thing and not a design flaw. Yeah, I think it probably was a misclick that I deleted the five seconds uh, inactivity at some point. Uh, Migoff, thank you for the follow. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So who is streaming Factorio today and in English? Ja, moin, ich liebe... That doesn't sound English. 
Uh, LOL Gamers dropped by earlier. Wait, did I raid LOL Gamers yesterday? The day before? Uh, all right, let's give someone new a go today. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Blueprint or the disc, uh, Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. And uh, in the meantime, do take care. See you next time, guys. Take care, Veldak, Mordel, Migoth, Fatboy, and I am Freaky. Take care, guys. I mean, even then, vanilla, especially with ideology now, ideology now, you can do some pretty questionable things, like being married to.